Oh, good. I have to let them come down the stairs every time. Is there anyone else like this? I can't start the game until they've all come down the stairs. Otherwise, it's bad luck. If I don't let them reach this point, then I will roll once. All session. Come on, Sven. There we go. He's nearly there. There you go, Sven. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. He's there. All right. Okay. We're safe now. We're safe. We can start. Down, 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 down. Boy, the raver. Oh, I love this soundtrack so much. I say that every time we boot it, but mm, I always get shivers opening that main screen. Every single time. Every single time. Wait, is that really Sven? I, I think from what people were saying in chat as well, because the first time I booted this, I said, hey, is that supposed to be some of the devs on the stairs there? And chat said, yeah, the guy at the front is Sven. So if we're believing chat, yeah, Sven leading the party into the underdark. Down, down, down by the river. Take your hand in mine. We're all gonna fucking die. Oh, she rolls so bad. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn's bad at video games. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I attempted to turn into another person to see if it would help me talking to the spirits of the goblins, but they weren't having it. I, I talked to them before and then I changed. So they, they clearly know I'm up to no good and that I'm the one who brutally murdered them all. So they're not having it. I couldn't fool them, but in good news, we killed everyone. So this stream begins with us looting. We just get to loot everything. I'm gonna disable my shapeshift, I think. Oh, can I just, do, do, do. there we go. Let's have a little look around. Ooh, -hoo, so much chicken. I think one of the things that's amazed me so far is just how much loot there is in this game. There's an insane amount of loot. Twy! Twy is back. Welcome back, Twy. Good to have your soul back and for a legendary 38 months as well. Can we get some love and some hype up in chat for the return of Twy? Welcome back. There's a lot of bodies here. I committed goblin mass murder. And I don't even feel bad about it. <laughs> they had it coming. They wronged me. This guy was a pain to defeat. The big ogre. Time to press ahead. Can't watch for long. D D in 15 minutes. Ooh, have fun. What kind of character are you playing? Good to know there's uh, a waypoint here. I didn't actually know there was one before. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm cucumbered. Oh, I told you I cleared my inventory before last stream. And I very cockily said that I would have a clear inventory for streams to come. Ha ha ha. Not to be so. The thing is, they tempt my loot goblin tendencies. They really do. Get a fix! Is that a six month or up in chat? Oh, congrats on six months. Thank you so much for your soul. You should have a brand new shiny wisp text in your name in chat as well. You'll have leveled up in terms of wisdom. You are even shinier than before. Gerbert the Magnificent, self-proclaimed the Grung Bard. Gerbert the Magnificent. I see how it is. Is he a, a Grung? What the heck is a Grung? Is that like a goblin variant? A Grung? Oh, sorry, Gail. You're going to have a short rest soon anyway. You're fine. Ooh, chromatic orb. Hello. Poison frog person. Some of the uh, sub races are getting wild in D and D these days. <laughs> frog person. Can you spit acid at people? 
needs to sleep in water or gets exhaustion. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Can you just get the party to carry around a little barrel to put you in? Although, I guess if you're a frog person, you're probably quite tall. So it has to be a very big barrel. Or just to have a mage with you and then they can just cast some water. Fill up bath tub or any way you need. I can finally loot this body in here. They were angry when I tried to loot all this stuff before. Oh, sausage! <gasps> the best melee weapon in the game! I have been blessed. Why is this not legendary quality? Yoink! You're coming home with me, salami! Oh yeah, there's all this stuff in the maze as well. I don't know if there's actually anything in these crates. Empty. Empty. Oh, thank you, Gail. How informative. Empty. Thanks, Gail. Is it empty? No, he won't tell me again. He's like, I refuse to repeat that. Nothing here. I'm telling you once and no more. This crate, empty. Do not make me speak again, wench. Yeah, the salami counts as a club. It's amazing. I've even seen people do a Karlak salami build where they, they literally just like dual wield salami and then they buff Karlak to the high heavens and then also take a giant potion and yeah, slap everyone with salami. Can that can that be my uh, my third playthrough after Dark Urge? Karlak salami maiden playthrough. We we need a, we need we need a catchy name. Angry Sausage Warrior. Sausage Rage. Sausage Rage. I feel like we can make it work. It might actually be viable. It's so hard because there's so much loot and I think I've looted all the bodies and then I just find more. Hello, Starion. Looking spiffing, as always, my dear. What's up here, dearest? Let's go have a look. Nothing. Oh, wonderful. There were some goblins up here, and they haven't woken up, so I'm going to take a short rest. Oh, oh lovely little pick me up. Oh, a lovely jubbly. And then let's get the party back together again. Is everyone encumbered? Why is the Starion doing like a model walk? Oh, yeah, He's like, break. walk, walk, fashion baby. Oh yeah. I think he's encumbered. Most people just walk really ugly when they're encumbered, but Starion's like, oh, one foot in front of the other, shake the touche. Mmm. <gasps> Exclamation mark, Starion. There you go. Wearing that, why wouldn't he do the model walk? To be fair, yeah, true. If you're wearing that, you've just got to own it. You've just, you've just got to go with it. Um, uh, I have some inventory problems. Is it to do with the ridiculous amount of sausage that I have looted? Maybe. I think I've looted like a whole pig here. Center camp. There we go. Enjoy. Why is there still meat? Oh. Can I make us eat dwarf? There's not the option to eat it. I could throw it. We can throw dwarf leg at people and dwarf ribs. Can you cast revivify on cooked meat? Yeah, I think they're lacking some vital parts there. Probably not very efficient. Probably not. Yeah, no camp supply tooltip, so I don't think we can. But I was wondering if we could just make them eat it in game. But no, there's, there's no no little tooltip to say eat so we're not in luck i'm afraid i know you were looking forward to eating dwarven legs but it wasn't to be i usually just stick all of my camp supplies back at camp I'm not gonna lie inventory management is actually kind of fun in this game 
I, I like that you can shift click things. It makes everything so much easier. And the marking as well is crazy useful. I wish more MMOs had it. Is Karlak supposed to be literally on fire? Yep. She ate a soul coin. So until the next long rest, she's on fire. She does more damage. Damn, it's good to be alive. Infernal Fury. The hatred and pain of a captured soul fuel Karlak's infernal machine. Her weapon and unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four fire damage when she's raging or when her hit points drop below 25. Don't touch me. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch you, darling. Who's this returning as well? Bungie! Bungie, welcome back. Thank you for 23 months, almost two whole years. You're really racking up that immortality there. Okay, so we've got some sleeping dudes down here who... I have made them drink so much, they should never be waking up ever again. Um, Gale can do Featherfall, which am I doing this? I'm hoping makes our footsteps lighter. There we go. And then if we all like jump down here. Stop jumping, Gale. Go. Okay, everyone's here. Uh, are you going to keep on sneaking? Nice. There was this guy who he apparently seems completely unaware of what's happened below. Um all the goblins have now changed to aggressive. Um so I haven't got the option to talk to him, I don't think. Let me see. If I if I if I go out of stealth a second. Ah! Okay. Feeling a bit spicy today, are we goblin lads? Okay. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm going back. I don't know if I accidentally actually cast a spell or something, or if that was just me coming out of stealth. Um, but yeah, I don't think he likes me anymore. He did get a bird's eye view of me, well, first poisoning his friends and then like beheading them all. Carlock, Carlock literally smushing their skeletons into the ground. So I don't know. Maybe he's not my biggest fan. That would make sense, but this is Baldur's Gate 3, so... Usually it doesn't make sense. Come on, guys. Come on, before Featherfall runs out. Gale, come on. Are you scared you're going to break a nail? Come on. Excellent choice. Yeah, Gale, come on. Shh. Why are you going back up, Carla? God! Right, are we all good? I think a Moogle treat was redeemed earlier. Wait, let me see if I put them back where they're supposed to be. I didn't. I didn't. I've left them downstairs. So I'll get Moogle treats whenever we have a break during stream. I'll get her treats. And there shall be treats. I'm sorry. It shall be done. Yeah, she knows the sound. She's like, oh, it's you time. Boo, yag, piddle. Okay, I'm gonna sneak around some more. We got some sleepy goblins over here as well. It doesn't seem to be making me roll a stealth roll. Because they are fast asleep. I know there's something behind that wall. Yeah. A good punch would probably finish it. A good punch would probably also wake up these goblins. They haven't got much health though. Where is that? Fire wine. <laughs> Why are you sleeping next to a barrel of fire wine? Don't you know that's terribly explosive? That's just asking for trouble. This looks like you could jump across here and then do some violence let's go across oh my oh my deep sack <laughs> i can't get into it today yeehaw there's a snake in my boot a deep south whispers been redeemed we're going down to the deep deep south i'm just a creeping on past these goblins all right so here's what i'm thinking we could do a big old jump here or if it's too far, which I think it is, for a star and his little noodle legs, we're gonna get this here wizard. 
Well, and we're gonna tell him you use that Mr. Step. That witchcraft. Immediately. And you go and see if there's any loot up here for us. Oh, a bone. Just what I always wanted. Let's uh, let's go and have a look. I think Carlac can make it. I don't know, maybe it's a giant woman. Wanna dance. But I don't know if she can when she Oh my god, girl! You got some mighty fine legs there. Oh my god. Well, I didn't even have to use Gail's spell. But, yes. you know, he likes exploring. Way. It's good. It's extracurricular for the wizard. What's in here? Oh my god. Larian, are you awarding exploration in your RPG game? An arrow of transposition. That, now that comes in super handy. Yeah. Teleport wherever we like. Like that. Why am I Australian? Fuck. One second. Just gotta get. I gotta get the the the, the accent back. <coughs> oh my! That's a long way to that hair tower over there. I'd have to go past. Booyah piddle to get over there. I think unless I did a Mr. Step again, but that just feels like I'm wasting spell slots at this point. I do have an error of translocation, but I, I don't want to use that already. Yes, I may be wasting all my spell slots. Oh my god. It's some solid gold. I've been gold hunting in this country. I ain't found shit yet. But I found it now. Oh, Crusher. We didn't kill Crusher, did we? We didn't kill him. We left him alive. So we can come back here on his lonesome and witness the murder of his friends. Yeehaw. Gal, you better be jumping. You better not have skipped leg day, you wizardy schmizzard. Why can't you get down there? That's a wide ass. There's a wide ass wall there. You're just going to hurt yourself going that way. Fine then. Off you go. You don't need knees anyway, you're a wizard. We can just drag your corpse around and you can cast spells. How close to level five are you? You know, I don't rightly know. Let me have a look. Oh my, oh my. We're, we're pretty close. I think we might ding in the goblin camp. Oh, hi there, Metherius. How are you doing? Good to see you. Right. So I, I think we try and get in that top wall. Could be interesting. I think we try and do that. Although that noise sure as hell is going to bring all them damn goblins down on us. Because we have to break a whole ass wall. Unless I got some kind of spell that'll uh, interfere with their hearing, which uh, I don't know if that exists. Greater earmuffs. Feather punch. Okay. You've got the wrong man for this. I love how Gail's like, you you got the wrong man for this. I ain't no rogue. I ain't no stealth wizard. My way. You sleep soundly in my sweet petals. Keep on dreaming of whatever the fuck it is you dream about. Wait, where's y'all? Oh, y'all's over here. Okay. Can we get back together, please? Get the band back together. There we go. This girl is on fire. There's a dragon named Mushroom in there. I don't know if I want it, though. Oh, is that a hole? That looks like a hole. That looks like somewhere I could be burrowing into. It does not come up as an entrance, but that says be suspicious right there. Southern voice is sounding like someone's Mima. Yeehaw! <laughs> it, it, it jumps around a bit. It, go, it goes all over the place. It goes all over the place. Sometimes we're like swamp south. Sometimes we're like Texas south. Don't tell me that their hole ain't big enough. I mean, I can transform into a cat, but usually with the holes, it comes up with the cogwheel symbol. And there's no cogwheel symbol coming up there, so I don't think it's accessible in the slightest. What a shame, what a disappointment. 
Tis the greatest tragedy of our time. Right then. I'm gonna F5. We're gonna take Let's the march. giant woman. I'm too tall for this. You are too tall. Right, do you wanna do you wanna hit it real good? Oh my lord, is that Eliandra 87? Oh my! If it hasn't been 51 months that Ellie's been here. Hey, Dawn, what's up, says Ellie? Oh, I mean, I just got this giant mommy, and she's gonna knock down a wall for me. I know, pretty hot stuff for a Wednesday evening. Oh, good to have you back. <laughs> I think it's over now. I think you're released. I think, I think that's it. <laughs> you're safe now. Don't worry. The southern mom is gone. Oh. All right. Well, we got some trouble. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Everything's happening so fast. Oh, everyone's rolling. Oh, we're greasy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. I was testing to see whether they had good hearing or not, but obviously they have very good hearing. So we probably should just blow them up in their sleep. It's probably the way to go. I'm trying to think if there's any way we can get in there without them knowing, but one does not really quietly knock down a wall. I don't think there's a way to quietly knock down a wall, to be honest. So. Probably our best bet is exploding the fire wine barrel. Get Gil up somewhere high. He can grease these guys up, set them on fire. And the rest of us, I don't even know, but at least, at least we can be stealthy and sneaky here. Okay, Gail, my boy. Nuke the site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Yes, I will treat this like civilization. I'll just send a nuke in. Job done. Okay, so ideally, Gail's gonna be up here, but hopefully I don't wake them again. Okay, I'm gonna have to go a little bit closer. Oh no, okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll have to make do with uh, Gale at the back of here, and then if I need to, I can feather fall and, and fall down. Although, more spell slots. I never have enough spell slots. <laughs> I've got arcane recovery though, so I, I might do it. Sure. We're going to take a long rest soon anyway. Two spell slots, yes. Okay. Right. Hello. Did whisper sweet nothings to me like that, darling. I can't handle it. Right. Karlak is gonna be over Turn here. Down the fire. And then she can intercept these guys. So they get a little bit further. Out of sight, out of mind. And then I'll mind. do some ranged spells. I'm gonna hide in the bush. Karlak, stop following me. We can't both hide in the same it's place. Okay. They'll find us. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Get in the bush. Get in that bush. I think he'll be well stealth there. Okay, F5. And now we just blow them to the high heavens. Do you think they'll wake up if I throw grease at them? I don't know. Someone lightly splashed grease all over me. I don't know if I'd wake up. I'd probably stay asleep. Do you have any fire spells? Oh, you have a fire arrow. I also had a candle and I, I think it's lit. I think it comes out lit. So if you if you throw it, is it lit? <laughs> Maybe it's not. I'm just gonna wake them up with a candle. It looks lit. Okay, bye. Seems like the best way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was not lit. Why did I take fire damage? What? I took fire damage from throwing the candle. Did I hold it for too long and the wick burned down and I got hurty fingers? 
That's just rude. That's just rude. Four damage. Come on. Fine. I'll just do a fire arrow like a normal person. <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 wait. I have questions. How come the sound of me knocking down this wall woke those guys up before, but the sound of me exploding these guys and singeing them to death as they screamed didn't wake them up? Although I guess technically before breaking down the wall woke these guys up and then those guys being awake woke those guys up. But still. Okay, well maybe we don't need to kill them after all. I just... I just... I won't murder unless they have to murder. I do want all my alcohol back though. That would be nice. I still can't get over how good the music is. It's incredible. So good. I love how as well the music changes when the fight is going well. So there's like a victory theme that comes in when you're about to kill everyone. So you just feel like the epic hero. Okay, uh, well, Gail, come back then. I guess we can try and break it without waking these days then. Quite ready for you. If they... Whoop, up, stealth. Yeah, stealth. If outside. they didn't hear an explosion, they won't hear the wall breaking, well. surely. Sleep well, oh. my petals. Nearly just dropped water everywhere. Don't mind me. Okay. I love how they get little bubbles. These are the tiny bubbles. What is that noise? Did you hear that? It's like... Ah! Hopefully not a dragon. Okay. Carlac? Damn, it's good to be alive. Smashy smash. Rat feet. New necklace doing, or just me being forgetful? Actually, old necklace, but new thready thing. Because I've had this for many years, and the thread that it was on got a little bit dog-eared, and it, it wasn't looking great anymore. And then I saw the people who made it again at, uh, like, a country show, and they just gave me a new one. They were like, oh, have a new one. There you go. So, yeah, I got a new one. It's handmade from a real leaf. I mean, just like, oh, of course it is. Okay. We need big boom. We need big boom. What is it? Hmm. Big that barrel sink. I blew up would have been perfect. Looking ahead. I'd rather stand tall. Can I just throw a firebolt at it? <laughs> immune to fire damage. Right, let's have a proper look. Uh, immune to. Acid, necrotic, fire, lightning, cold, psychic, poison, radiant, vulnerable against force. Okay, what well, can we use its force? Um, I know that like Thunderbolt has has force damage with it as well, but I don't think I've got it on at the moment. So, hmm. Also, I saw I I saw a clip of someone playing. Baldur's Gate and their ability bar was like maximized like they had three or four rows of abilities is that mods or is there a way for me to do that oh <laughs> wait what <laughs> oh my god my life is changed that that's a big quality of life update from early access <laughs> my god are you telling me I could neatly organize my rows? I can hear people typing in the YouTube comments right now, just like, oh my God, I can't believe she didn't know that. God, I've been watching this playthrough and it's been really annoying me. <laughs> well, I need to neatly organize my spells now, clearly. Um, I usually put cantrips in one place and then, you know, on another bar, another one. You mean you didn't know? I, so I obviously knew because I know all the things. I know all the, all the things ever. Eldritch Blast does force as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So that counts as force damage. And then... 
Yeah, and it's a cantrip, so easy. Zero. Steady. Damn it. Damn it. Only a hit that deals at least 10 damage. So how much can it... It can do... It can do 10. Should I just keep hitting it until it does 10? Bless him. Someone bless him. You are blessed. I don't think this helps because it helps on ability checks rather than hits. But, you know, you can have it anyway. It'll make you feel better. No. <laughs> okay. Let me look for... Reinforced helmet. There's all sorts of kind of throwable things that might do force damage. Smoke powder bomb. Although I don't really want to waste that on a wall. Poison, acid, radiant. Oh, I've, got, I've got two smoke powder bombs, so if we have to. Oh, 3d4 plus 9, though. <laughs> Let me see what other spells I have that might work. Or we could just hit it with a big stick. We hit it with Garlax's big stick. Well, I guess technically a sword is, well, it's slashing damage because it's, it's a bit more complicated than a big stick. I don't know if I actually have anything that counts as, like, a blunt weapon at the moment. A club would work, right? Because that's not slashing, that's, like, blunt force. I don't know if I sold all of them, though. <gasps> I have a club! It's bludgeoning. Does bludgeoning count? I know it's specified force damage, but bludgeoning might work. What have you got on at the moment? Go hit it with a big stick. Go hit it. No. <laughs> it's got to do more than 10 in the same hit as well, so... The salami would work? What? No way. Hang on. Salami. Ah, uh, no. I don't think it would. I don't think it would because it can do 6 to 9 damage on a hit. And it needs to do more than 10. Unless I can buff the salami somehow. Can I buff the salami? <laughs> Too little damage. Ah, oh, no. Have I got any other kind of sausage that would do blunt damage? Um, I just need something with higher damage. Great club? Um, bludgeoning? That's, that does more. She'll still have to roll well, but... I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah. Keep hitting it. Yeah. Yeah. How do I actually see what she's rolling? I just like... Surely she can... She can... Well, she has to hit first. 11! Yeah! Okay, I just have to keep smashing it. There we go. Yeah, sturdy means I have to do 10 or more to do anything. Yeah, we did it! Yeah, combat log... Um, So the combat log wasn't telling me... Unless it went over 10, if you see what I mean. Salami with Shalala. <laughs> no, I want to do it. Wait, 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 wait. Can't give up now. Wait, how much damage does Shalala add? Your staff or club becomes... Wait, it would have to count as a club. Club? be done. I can't remember when I saved, but it must be done. If a strong woman armed with a spicy sausage can't solve the problem, what can? It's what I always say. It's an old family saying. Shalay me. <laughs> sh 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 me. If anyone's new to the stream, I never used to be able to pronounce Shalayla. And when I played D&D, I did a one shot with a druid and my entire party would just call it because I couldn't pronounce it and everybody made fun of me. Um, so it's officially and whenever I can't cast it, I usually scream. So now it's Lami. Right, Carla, you take that Lami and you enjoy it. Where's it gone? Who is the holder of the salami? You hold the salami, Gale. This is too much power for you. Give it to Karlak. Equip. Oh wait, no, I have to I have to have it because Shalala only works for me, right? So I I have to. 
giant woman with sausage isn't going to work, is it? I've got a long road ahead. Yes, it must be my stuff. Chilet le sausage? Also, let me take this stupid drum off my back. It's ruining my aesthetic. Okay, the sausage is equipped. Why Why is my sausage not red? Like, I, I am disappointed here. I thought the sausage was going to be kind of red like a hot dog sausage in colour. But it's more of like a brown sausage. It just looks like a dirty sausage now. Whosoever holds the salami, if they be worthy, shall possess the power of the mork. No wall could withstand the salami's power. The superiority of the sausage was assured. Right. Ready? Shilayla sausage! <laughs> please, please, can I do a second playthrough? Jewel wielding sausages as a druid and call it the Shalala sausage playthrough. It needs to be done. I'm just going to have to find everything that could possibly buff any weapon. And, and maybe we'd make it through the entire game with two sausages. <gasps> Shalala sausage! Don't stop! Never give up! 10 damage with the Shalala sausage! Can we do another 10? Oh, there it is! One health left on the wall! And the sausage has it again! I love how the sausage is glowing. Magically infused sausage. I love this game so much. I cannot describe to you how much I love this game. Ah, that was beautiful. All right, everyone, the sausage has cleared the way. Pile on through, pile on through. I love how, like, an actual warrior in full rage, empowered with a great sword, can't get this wall down, but a sausage can. Just Larry and things. Okay, has everyone got their proper weapons on now? Carlac stole my staff. I feel victimized. I ca I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to spec Carlac into um, jewel wielding sausages. And then she'd be a barbecue barbarian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Barbecue barbarian. Rage of the summer cookout. Boo, how dare you? That pun was amazing. Barbecue Arian. Yeah. Wait, what was she? She was just using a great sword, I think, before. I'm kind of tempted to try her with a, a big hammer. Offhand sausage. I'm already planning a playthrough as a dragonborn bard, role played as a chef, who jewels a chef's knife and a salami. I like it. With a bard, you can kind of get away with it, can't you? Because you're mostly buffing and you took a few spells off. And if you do melee hits, that's just a bonus, unless you spec them to be more melee. So having a sausage and a knife can't actually hurt you too much. As long as you have good stats otherwise. Okay. Group up, everyone. Why are you all no looking so yet. terrible? I think we should heal. Still not looking great. I'm just going to chug a bunch of healing potions. Attention. Hurry up. Time for a little death. Oh, death. Okay. Are we grouped up? Let's go. Come on. Stay low. Stealth on through, everyone. F, F5. Oh, this is where we come out. Do you feel hurt inside you? I come out on the beam. Is that priestess fucking good? I priestess good. All right. Operation Rescue Druid Bay. 
Ah, the fuck? Sorry. 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 My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? What the heck is he doing here? Mm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael, very much at your service. Pleasure. I'm a Starian. Who the heck are you? Um, what the heck are you doing here? Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Pretty words. If you want to threaten me, don't disguise it. So I am a Starian right now, I think, just because, like, as soon as I came through the doorway, I was on Starry, so... Yeah. A pleasure. I'm a Starian. I feel like that's more his style. If we're role playing a Starian here, even if he is scared, he's going to pretend he's not. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. Oh! We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Are you stalking me? Oh! The heck? There. Middle of somewhere. Okay. I don't like this at all. What is this organ music? You know I love me some organ. Oh! Oh! Um, nice decor. Very nice. Thank you for the ride as well. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed. Oh, no, Lavishly. no, I don't think Go I'll eat on, any of that. Partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Yeah, no, I've seen too many fairy tales about decadent feasts that then poisoned you or put you to sleep so that people could steal your limbs. Are these theatrics leading somewhere? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Hello. Oh. What's better than Daddy a devil demon. you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Fuck. A cambion. Uh oh, Am Karlak's not gonna be happy. Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior. That's for certain. Yeah, I'm not sure I really believe your wholesale spiel that you're doing here. You've obviously done all of this before. Teleported someone to a lavish location and been like, Oh, I can make your wildest dreams come true. <laughs> I don't know if I want to trust you at all. Was his face. Thank you so much for 26 months. Welcome back. Good to have your soul once again. The elven bops were off during that cutscene, but the glory of the resub still stands. Thank you so much. What makes you think I need saving? I don't care what you are. I care what you want. Well, you know, I feel like it's common knowledge about the tadpole at this point. Yeah, you want something from me. What is it you want? Oh, a mere trifle. 
How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Yeah, what's a soul worth? I mean, I tell all of you all the time that the soul doesn't do anything inside the body. It just kind of sits there. It's like an appendix. It has, it has no purpose. It doesn't do anything. May as well get the thing out. Trade it for something like, uh, let's say, immortality. I'll do anything to get rid of the tadpole. I need to think this over. You're mad if you think I'll make a deal with a devil. Yeah. And you probably can't even help us anyway, because everyone so far who's promised to help us has just been tricking us. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg. Borrow and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. That's what separates us from the devil, soldier. They think our greatest strength is a weakness. And... Mogul, do not touch the mouse right now, I swear. If you touch the mouse, then we're making a deal with a devil man! Good girl. And if I do take this deal, how would I find you? I'll have the last laugh in the end. Take me back. After that, I never want to see you again. I'll rip out your mocking tongue. There's no like, oh, thanks, bro, but no thanks option. I'll have the last laugh in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms. Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Well, well, well. So I have actually never seen that before. Um, that's not happened to me in early access. So Raphael, nice to meet you. I have heard the name Raphael because it's been all around Twitter, but I didn't know who he was. So interesting, interesting. And I do wonder if eventually the game is going to force us to make that decision. Like, unless you make a deal with this person now and you get rid of that tadpole, they are going to die or turn to my flay. And it's, it's not made me do that yet. So that's going to be interesting. Step quick. We should stealth everyone. Come on. I can still hear that organ music. Mm. Oh. Let Starry go first. He's good with the traps. There's a chest up here. Mmm, method wings. Delicious. Is there someone up here? Okay, there's a way down there. I am not exactly sure how I want to play this yet. I know there is a jail, and Halston's in the jail. I don't know if I want to go in all guns blazing, because if you know that you're going to get into a fight, you can set up a fight really well. And you can position I yourself. Out so strong. But if I can Nobody stealth my way there, I definitely will. Let's do it. Come on. I love the music in here. It reminds me of Karazhan in World of Warcraft. I think it's just because of the harpsichord. <laughs> okay, okay. Stealthy, stealthy does it. Nobody fall off. Mm. 
Another chest. Time for gold. Cloud of daggers, dark vision, most arrow. Interesting, I got the Raphael scene right before the bit with the harpies. I wonder if it's triggered by a certain number of long rests rather than a certain location. Just like, okay, if if you've had this many long rests, the next major area that you enter will be Raphael coming to see you. Okay. Having trouble remembering where the prison is. I don't think these guys move very much, so we might be good. That goes back in there, and then, whoop! Didn't mean to do that, that scared me. So the prison is, is down from here. It's in there, I think. And then, I think we can get down somehow. Okay. I've done act one more times than I care to count. It's so clever though, how you can play it multiple times and see something different every single time. And it changes so much. I know there's a beastie down there too. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where the beastie is. Can't see anything on the map. Damn it, why can't I remember? I do remember coming out of here when I went to the prison bit last time. I think this is where Lashing Man is. And Astarium will greatly enjoy that, so we should take him for a little trip. He loves that man. They get on so well. Oh! Oh! Do you guys know that I killed everyone outside? Do you guys, do you guys know that I killed... Oh, they don't know that I killed everybody outside. <laughs> I don't even need to stealth. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. Yeah, you just try. Let's priestess gun. I'm not letting her trick me. There's something I'm wondering about. Don't don't tell me if you can do this, but I'm just wondering. So I know that priestess gun. If you talk to her, she's like, "Oh, give me a potion." That'll cure your little worm problem. And you, you can drink it and it actually just puts you to sleep. And then she ends up taking you to the prison. I wonder if there's a way for us to like pretend that we're drinking it. I just, just pretend that we're drinking it and then like wake up on the way and murder them. Follow my teachings. I'll follow my your teachings. Who is good at blagging? Where's the highest blag in the party? I need your blags. Get who's our char I'm quite charismatic. This girl's pretty charismatic, right? I'm 12. He's the same as me. Um, I am going to blesseth myself. Blesseth. There we go. I think he could have just walked through the front gate. Well, could have, but I wanted to kill everybody outside. That was fun. Hello. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Yes, Christus in very God inappropriate needs ways. To touch you too. Oh no, thank you. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. No thanks, I'm good. I I've always wanted a tattoo, but I just I'm not brave enough. And you know, if you gave me one, then maybe I'd change my mind and I wouldn't like it in the end. So. I. <sighs> Why should I let you brand me? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. Okay. That way nobody will mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. Charged yeah, I'm not with sure magic. About that. Perhaps that explains the ease with which these goblins submit to true souls. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Actually, thanks, but no thanks. I'm good. Speaking of branding your soul, Fleur, welcome back. Thank you for 32 months. Good to have that bright pink soul back. I will keep it safe. Actually, I'd, I'd rather not go through with this. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Yeah. Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. 
she too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision uh, of the goblin uh, priestess what? receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Oh. Push deeper into her mind. What's the role going to be for this? Uh, it's going to be like a wisdom, isn't it? I could try. I like that you can F5 in conversation. Save me so many times. I will push deeper. Her faith floods into you. A tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania. Secure. Hidden. I feel you in there. Digging around. You like that? Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Weird, eh? Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Yeah. Uh... I mean, do you think you can fix whatever is causing those shadows? With the absolute's will? I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Oh. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Okay. All right. Priestess. Affected like we us. The mark. Why do they yeah. think they're talking to the I'm good enough for the absolute. Well, let's just go to her chambers. What could go wrong? Also, if we do decide to kill her, this is very nice in private. We'll have a private murder session. Oh, what a lovely ritual sacrifice altar you have there, my dear. Oi, come here. I ain't ready to clear your head. What exactly are you going to do? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry. She loves you. Oh. I can tell. At least someone loves me. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, you know, let's say I was to engage her in conversation. I'm not up to anything. Meh. Ready to clear your head. And then I were to take our little sneaky boy. And I were to stealth. And I were to <gasps> pickpocket her. F5. And I were to take her key. <laughs> what is this? I want this too. Oh, she's got a giant's finger. Delish. We'll put that with a salami for later. All right, all right, okay. Can, I'm gonna risk taking both, maybe. Okay, let's try this, try this. Ooh, now I'm getting greedy. I kind of want the uh, sleep potion and the healing potion. I, mean, I could deal with a greater healing potion. It's an eight target. I'm gonna go. Pilfering Fuck. efforts have failed. <laughs> No, no, they didn't. I just got greedy. Ah, happens to the best of us. It's a nice healing potion, though. Let's say, hypothetically, you were to kill her. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Although, I guess if we can make it look like we're still on the goblin side, then we, we play both camps and get everything we need to. He must have rolled really badly. Ah, uh, sorry. You need a bless on you. I'm sorry, I forgot. And I'm already in conversation, so I can't help you. Tactical reloading. Yeah, this is no saves coming. It's it's tactical reloading. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think with Baldur's Gate, like, obviously people have different opinions on saves coming and whether they like doing that in their own playthroughs. But for me, I think part of the joy of Baldur's Gate 3 has been seeing just how many different outcomes the situation can have. So sometimes I save and I'll be like, oh, I wonder if I can do this stupid thing that really shouldn't work, which I wouldn't try if I wasn't going to reload if it went wrong. So for me, it raises my enjoyment of the game and I have loads more fun experimenting and messing around with things. And I mean, I I love games design and, you know, messing around with mechanics. So I just want to test this game to its limits and see what it can do. But fair enough if you don't like doing that in your own playthrough. But for me, it's like, 
all of this is there. There's this big playground for me to fuck around with. Why wouldn't I fuck around with it? Come on. Okay. Uh, did I get... So Starry managed to pick up... Let me open his little inventory. Let the fuckery ensue. It's Baldur's Gate. If you're not doing fuckery, you're not playing Baldur's Gate. It's what it's for. Okay, did I get the key? I think, I think this is before I even pickpocketed the first thing. Okay, so we're going to take the letter. And then I'm just going to read the letter right behind her. That slobber chops druid who was nosing around ain't just some tomb robbing adventure type. Calls himself Alcin. Ugly name for an ugly bastard. <gasps> Don't you dare talk to our sweet Alcin like that. Our sweet little bear boy. I had a little word or two with him before the lashers put his hairy ass in the pens. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us. Inside me. Reckons he can help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need no help from nobody. Never did. And especially not now the Absolute's taken a shine to us. I says there'll be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down in the pens and when we cut him open, I'll make sure he stays alive long enough for the maggots to make a nest of him. Mmm. It's okay, Halston. We're, we're on our way. Well, it was lovely seeing you, Miss Goblin. But we must be on our way. I, I think... Like, can I stealthily lock, unlock a door? We'll see. Oh! Woo! We are being raided! Mary is coming on in with a mighty horde of raiders. Oh my god! Here they come! Defend your queen! Shields up in chat! Bows and arrows if you have them! Do not shoot yet. I'm not sure if they're feeling violence today. I mean, there's usually chaos in Mary's stream. Do you bring chaos to our walls? Or only chill vibes? We shall see. But welcome everyone! Good to have you. As you can see, we are messing around in Baldur's Gate 3. I love this game to pieces. I think this is set to become my favorite game ever, which I know is, is big words because I haven't finished the game yet. And I won't say that until I finish the game, but it's just incredible. And I have been really, really loving it. If you've just come in with a raid and you do play Baldur's Gate, let me know about your characters. I love hearing about your characters. And are you going for the killing everyone strategy or are you trying to be goody two shoes like me? I'm normally a goody two shoes in my first playthrough. But welcome everyone. How is your stream today, Marie? What were you up to? Were you doing Baldur's Gate 2? Or I should say Baldur's Gate 3 too. How about chaotic chill vibes? Ah, the best kind. Those are also the vibes we go for here. We play a lot of RPGs and MMOs. I'm an Elder Scrolls Online stream team partner and an arena partner. So lots of Guild Wars 2 and Elder Scrolls Online. And now Final Fantasy as well. I am headed to FanFest in London at the weekend. So if anyone's going, just so you know, I'm going to be there. It would be great to see you. Just wave if you see me or, or like launch yourself at me. I, I, I don't know. If you see a very long haired creature, then you know it's me. I mean, you pretty much always know it's me because I have the longest hair there. So most people can't mistake me. Goody two shoes, the pile of dead goblins outside might not tally with that concept. Look, goblins are evil. By alignment, they are evil. It's just a fact. It's just the way of things. I'm not evil. You did some cyberpunk. Ooh, how is the new DLC? Because I've heard that it's literally unrecognizable from the original game that came out. And I will say I still haven't played Cyberpunk. Um, I got Cyberpunk and we were going to play it. And I was going to play it at midnight when it launched. And then they had all the troubles with DMCA takedowns and copyrighted music. So I decided to hold off. And then after that, I just got busy with stuff. And I haven't really felt particularly motivated to play it because people said, oh, it's a bit meh. And... I was sort of waiting until until they fixed all of those little issues that were sort of getting in the way of enjoyment. So I'm hoping it's good. It's so good now, definitely play it. So just the whole experience is better. Also, I'm pretty sure the lovely Leone 
is in is in the new cyberpunk dlc i can't remember the name of the character um but for anyone who might not know i am part of limit break which i signed up to for learning voice acting because i'm trying to get into voice acting and i was matched with leonie schleising who is a voice actress here in the uk she's amazing she is the loveliest loveliest creature ever and she's been helping me get started with all of that and yeah, I, I've been seeing some Twitter posts coming through and I'm pretty sure she plays one of the main characters in that DLC. She's a boss. Yeah. She plays like a character with a French accent. And I can't remember who it is. I can't remember their name. But yeah, she's a badass. Inspirational lady. Oh, we've got all the, we've got all the Baldur's Gate characters. I just finished a playthrough with a dragonborn sorcerer and it was a chaotic, what does this button do playthrough? I feel like if you're playing a sorcerer or a wizard, it usually ends up being a, oh, I wonder what this does playthrough because they just give you so many shiny spells to throw around. Why wouldn't you use them? Why wouldn't you set everything on fire? Why wouldn't you fireball everyone? I mean, it'd just be a waste. It would be a waste. I really want to do dragonborn for my next playthrough. I had to do elf for my first one. I am playing uh, an elven druid. Ready to clear your head. I just pickpocketed Priestess Gut. So we got the key, which I think is for the dungeons. And we've uncovered where Halcyn is. So I think we're just gonna leave. I've been, really? Oh no, who could it have been? Beak's been picking pockets near here. This would be a good moment to explain yourself. Oh my God, really, you've been robbed? That's so terrible. I, I didn't even spot them. They must have been like using an invisibility potion or something. I I bet it was those filthy druids from the circle sending like a little mouse druid in here to take all your cheese from your pockets. It wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. I do. If you guys don't follow Mary, you need to fix this immediately awesome streamer plays all sorts of games but i personally really love the chill mmo streams that mary does i'm often lurking in there like mary will be chatting and i'll just like reply to something they've said and i'll be like i didn't know you were here dawn <laughs> i'm always watching i'm always in the shadow but highly recommend checking them out if you haven't already um how terrible uh, I assure you, my fingers aren't nimble enough for pocket picking. Picket pocking? I don't know what that is. I have no use for someone else's small change. Yeah, I'm already rich. I'll be picking a fight if you don't back off now. Unsurprisingly, not very good at that. Um... I have no use for someone else's small change. Don't you know? I'm one of the chosen ones of the absolute. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. I missed something before that raid as well. Not only did we have Mary coming in with the raid, but we had Magnus coming back for 62 months. 62! Oh my god, it's been an absolute age, even for an elf. Thank you so much for your soul and your encouragement in all things Zelda related. We have finished Ocarina. And I know it wouldn't have been the same without members of the community like you around. So welcome back. And Magnus also just gifted the soul of Mary. Sorry, Mary. I hope you weren't using that. Or planning to like trade it with a demon or anything. I'll keep it safe, don't worry. Thank you for welcoming Mary back. Um, I don't think I can claim this. Like if Astarian is talking to her, he's a rogue. So I can't exactly be like, oh, I'm no good at sneaking. I have no use for someone else's small change. I killed everyone outside and I looted all of their pockets, all of their gold. I picked up every single mug, pot and pan for miles around. I'm rich. Oh shit. Add a bonus. Guidance. Okay, hopefully this will work. That was close. I'm very glad I used guidance there. You may have talked your way out of this one, but there will be no repeat performance. Oh, no. Mm. Well, I'm so sorry. The, cr the crime level is just so high around these parts. Don't linger. I, 
what a shame. What a shame. Just, you know, have a have a good time. If it's through this door, she doesn't want me going through there, so. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Hello. Uh, can I stealthily open a door? Like, is, is Ready that a to thing? clear your head. Let's give it a go. I missed so many streams, but I hope you had lots of fun with Ocarina. I did. It was a very special game to play. And I'm glad we did it. Can I, can I turn out this light? Shh. It is dark over here. She shall not see a thing. Oh, it worked. I know for a fact there's a big ass ogre in here. Okay. And I, th I think this goes down to the dungeons. Okay. Oh, well, you know, have a nice day. I must, I must be going terribly late. I'll come back and get that tattoo me. later. Guys, guys, come on, come here. Just out of view. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I kind of want to go back and steal things from Gut's room. Books. Oh, books. Love me some books. Ah, books. A pleasurable deal. I already have a copy of that. Wait, is that part two? Hmm. Yeah, it's the same one. It's the same one. Hello. Oi, oi, oi. Hello, Palma. Hey, I reckon I can trick her somehow. I reckon we don't need to fight her. What path lies before me? Hello. How are you doodling? You've set foot in a restricted oh, area. Oh, I'm so sorry. A swift exit may be in order. I was, I was just, I, I was doing the thing with the stuff. Why are you looking at me like that? I live here. That uniform of yours will make a very tasteful body bag if you don't get out of my way. Just a quick look around, won't hurt anyone. Yeah, I live here. Can you not sense the, the absolute in my mind? <sighs> okay, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> Do you even live here, bro? No. Oh, inspiration! Yes! Try, try again, try again! Oh! No. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Am I gonna roll higher than a twenty-two? Probably not. I I'm gonna try again. A valiant, but oh, I can't. I can't. Guided attempt. Oh. You will leave this area now. Sorry, sorry. Well, you know, I could also just sneak through this entire area if we're not going to get along. Sorry, come join the party. Come on. Oh! It seems the rules have not changed in your Oh no! You're still trespassing. Look, I am so sorry. I my shoelace came untied, and then I had to bend down and do it again. And you know, uh, look at me. Do I look dangerous? Yeah, come on, look at me. Look at this party, this ragtag group of fools. Do you really think we can cause much trouble? Really? Come on. Okay, I've got I've got guidance. Oh no. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Hey! That was so unlikely. You managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. Get to the cab over here. <laughs> As someone who knows nothing about this kind of stuff, about D&D &D or role-based stuff, this intrigues yet confuses me. You know, Baldur's Gate is the perfect thing to play if you're even curious about D&D. &D. Because... It maps everything out so clearly. You can see exactly which bonuses are being added to your roles. The character sheets are very simplified. When you try and equip a weapon, it will tell you whether you have proficiency in it or not. It's just a much easier way of learning how these things work. I have to keep going. Hello. How are you doing? Are you gonna talk to me now? You Aww. not supposed to be here. Oh sorry. Leave. Oh, sorry. Well, she doesn't mind me being here now. She's pretty chill. Is that a body? Oh, an animal carcass. Padlock key? Hello. 
Oh, don't watch me! Thank you. Take the key. Calls for careful footwork. Starry, starry, slight of starry. Stepping softly. Padlock key, padlock key. Yoink. I don't know what it's for. But we've got it! Okay. She's probably gonna get mad if she sees me sneaking. Ah! I'm not sneaking. I'm just walking quietly. It's good for the environment. Turn around. Wait. Someone's reported a what? theft in this Oh area. no! <laughs> it seems you're the likely culprit. Who? Who reported what a theft? You do? There's no one here. Uh, I'm gonna try and blag again. I heard the thief's already been caught, actually. I haven't the faintest idea what we're talking about. I've seen nothing unusual. Oh, I heard they already got the guy. He's he's in the other room, he's in the prison already. He's like being flayed and stuff. Yeah. Ah! Should've put my bonus! I forgot! I didn't press it! I didn't press it! God damn it! No! 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 Your protestations aren't I could have done that, maybe. You'll need to fight your way out of this one. Oh, oh. Boy, I really want to be friends with you so much so that I will reload my game just for you. That's how much you mean to me. I want to be friends. And I possibly killed your sister in a barn in the village. So I kind of feel bad about that. So if I could let you survive, I think that would be nice. That sounds really nice. Yeah, learning about such stuff through Baldur's Gate is a good option. Yeah, it's kind of the difference between, well, playing a, playing a tabletop game, like a board game version of something versus a video game version of it. Like for Magic the Gathering as well, if you want to learn Magic the Gathering, you can learn all the rules really well through playing the online game. Because if you try and do something and you can't do it, it comes up with a red thing. It says, uh -uh, you can't do that. And this is why. Whereas if you were learning traditionally on tabletop, it would just take you a bit longer and you'd have to have someone there who sort of said, oh, no, you can't do that. So it makes things easier. These boots have seen everything. These boots are made for walking. You don't oh. have permission to be here. Technically, I wasn't You're selfing. About to be ejected. Let's try that again. I'm so sorry. I thought this was the latrines. I'll be off then. Uh, I live here. That's me. I I live next to the giant spider den. Yeah. I'm gonna do it again. Stop! Stop! Yeah, I live here. So rude. I brought you cupcakes when I moved in and you don't even remember me. You've been granted free passage. How dare you? What you do with that privilege is up to you. Thank you. Come on. I can't believe how elfish they are around here. Does free passage mean everything is free? Apparently not. Okay. So I need to steal that key. I don't know what it's for, but it might be. I don't know, the chest doesn't seem to have a padlock on it, so. Just looking at what else there is hiding. So it must be for something further down. <laughs> ah! I didn't mean to press that. I didn't mean to press that. I didn't mean to press that. Not everything I didn't mean to. Find I didn't it wasn't me. Disposal. Sorry. Okay, so she's just warning me. She's just saying, hey, hey, don't do that. Not cool. Trust no one. Step lightly. So I think if something's been stolen in this area, as soon as her vision cone enters that area again, she'll be like, huh, something's up here. So let's take the key and then I'm gonna GTF. Oh, what's in here? Okay, is she gonna turn around soon? Ooh, Misty Step Amulet. That's nice. Hello. Oh my. Well, we, re we really must get going. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, everyone. We've got places to be. Come on. Guys, guys, guys. Follow Gale! Follow Gale! Go! Run! Hide! Guys! Guys! Someone's Damn reported it. a theft in this area. It seems you're the likely culprit. I didn't group them properly. What you do? Me? Oh no, it's Karlak. Uh... She's quite intimidating. She's a scary mummy. I intimidate you. 
It wasn't me. Maybe you should search elsewhere. Yeah, maybe you should. Easy. Everyone shakes in their boots at Karlak. You'll walk free for now. But your stories nice. won't land so well nice. if you're caught again. Okay, have a nice day. Have a nice day. You ungrouped them. God damn it. Theft has been reported, <laughs> and it seems you're the only suspect. No. Choose your next step wisely. Who is it this time? Is, is Starry under investigation? There. Did you see? The thief making a run for it. Over there. Who even is this rolling? I don't even know. Ah. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That Your words are unconvincing. Not good this. this You'll have to this, settle this, this the old. I feel like we could have got out. I feel I feel cheated. Cause I pressed the wrong button and I didn't group them. I'm really intimidated by her. I do like how Carlock's Carlock? Carlock from Scotland! Carlac isn't your typical barbarian or like the barbarian stereotype because you think oh it's someone who's angry all the time and it's just like really mean and a real badass Theft has ah. been reported and it seems you're the only suspect yeah, yeah choose your next step wisely okay who am I on starry okay uh <laughs> It's gotta be the deception or the persuasion. I'm sorry. I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about, darling. Really, if I knew, I would absolutely help you find the person responsible. <laughs> Astarian! Astarian, what has happened to your roles? I'm disappointed. I think she's going to immediately talk to us. Theft yeah. has been reported, and it seems you're the only suspect. Choose your next step wisely. Okay, Amelia. Uh, uh talk, talk your way out of the situation. There's a persuasion. Yes, yeah, so I haven't seen anything. Seen no one. Heard, heard no evil, saw no evil, did no evil. Easy. Just. Fingerless gloves are great. Oh, yeah. If anyone notices, I'm wearing gloves on one hand. So, yes, they're great for, for warming your hands, um, especially if you live in the UK and it's cold. But the reason why I have these on is because I have really bad eczema. Woo! So my eczema on this hand is really bad at the moment. So I basically need to cover my hand in moisturizer all the time. Uh, and obviously nobody wants a sticky mouse going on. So I have these, um, they're really good. If anyone has skin problems as well, highly recommend fingerless gloves. These are cotton ones, so you can wash them. And uh, yeah, I'm fashion, I'm fashion. It's a look, it's a look for sure. You should see me in my Michael Jackson gloves. Whenever I go to bed, I, I put like this steroid cream on for it. So I've got like these full on white Michael Jackson gloves. I could do a, a thriller. Yeah. Also really good if it's generally quite cold and you're working and you're sat down at a desk because your hands can get cold, especially if you're like using the mouse a lot, it's good. You may have talked your way out of this one, but there will be no repeat performance. <laughs> okay, can we leave now, please? Please, can we leave? Moving. Whoever did this might still be here. No, no. I think if they had done that thing, then they would be long gone. God, where am I? Just like old times. Oh God. Oh, oh. What's that? Oh, a rocky crevice. Hello. That thing is small, and I am not. Oh yes, you are, you little twink. You can get through there. Oh. Jacko! So 
Sub it up it up. Immortality in the tub. Oh my 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 Jacko's back for 45 months! Where in the name of the nine divines and the maker combined is Moogle? She's gone! She's not having it today. She she was here for a bit and now she's gone off on other adventures. I think because she is quite obsessed with one of her new toys, so she's probably gone to play with it. I got her a little, um, it's a little star. Like, it's a shooting star, so it's wool, and then it's got little strings coming off the shooting star bit. She loves it. She's not really allowed to play with it unsupervised. Um, so it's gone away in the cupboard, but she's probably gone to look for it. A star is not small. My dear, that outfit doesn't leave much to the imagination. <laughs> I haven't had a thorough inspection. I can't comment to do okay girls do you want to send your familiar in here because i mean i could shapeshift but it's a cantrip for gail so oh wait is it cantrip no it's level one i may as well don't mind me okay let me become the aminal let's do a cat Meow. okay in we go Oh, smoke powder. Oh god, this stuff would light up so well. Do not light attack the smoke powder. This place is rigged to blow. Oh, wait, I know who we are. There's these traders. Oh, will they even see me if I do this? I'm pretty sure there's something really good in this chest. Can I... I'm a cat. I can't lockpick. Can I just steal it? Do not question how a cat picks up a chest. Larian logic. D&D &D logic. Sort by weight and then I'm going to send that back to camp. There we go. And then we can just open it later. Someone's going to go, there's been a theft in here. But we won't be around to see it. No one suspects a cat. And that's Priestess Gut's room. <gasps> Does Priestess Gut care about cats? Because I kind of want to look in her wardrobes and stuff. She's got a few things in here. Huh? She hasn't actually got that much. I don't think it's worth the risk. Okay. Let's get out of here. Back in the rocky crevice. Here goes nothing. If no one else sees the theft, is it really a theft? True. No witnesses, no crime. Okay. Excellent. Out of sight, out of mind. Everybody's stealth now. Come on. flies before. This is where this is. So I did see this in early access and we did solve it. And it goes down to the Underdark, but I can't for the life of me remember how this puzzle is solved. I think we make the moon fall here and that's how we do it. I can't remember. Investigation successful. Really? I think there's a lever here somewhere as well. Silver plate. Maybe I need more pockets. More pockets, sis. Perception failed. Come on, Gail. Give us a little perception check. What have I seen? I don't know what I've seen. I have no idea what I've seen. Succeeded on a perception check. Yeah, but what did I perceive? What was perceived? Aha, there's a lever here. Locked. Okay, all right. I think we have to put everything in order. It's to do with the phases of the moon. A 
Is that a thing? Let's see what this does. Because the light's shining on that bit. I, it's to do with the moon goddess, and I remember the little paintings outside, like the cave paintings, had something to do with it. Also, remind us, since we are getting to a puzzling bit, please do not backseat or tell me how to do puzzles. I want to find out the solutions by myself. You probably discovered them for yourself the first time you played the game. Let me have the same suffering and the same enjoyment of solving the puzzle for myself. I'm going to go and look out here because I have a weird... It was way back in early access, but I have a weird memory of looking above this doorway and seeing some artwork and then realizing, ah, oh, okay, that's what we have to do. So let me see. Interesting, okay. Bunch of stars. I don't know whether it has any significance, but I think we have to form a full circle. I swear there were more levers in here. Maybe I'm misremembering. Let's light these candelabra. Just for ambiance. The smiley faces in chat are real. See, I, I remember, I think I did the same thing. I came in here the first time because there's moonlight shining on this patch. I thought, oh yeah, we have to fill up the moonlight here. Where's Shadowheart when we need her? I go get Shadowheart and then come back. She'd be like, it's the freaking moon goddess. She's the worst. But she might have some ideas on how to deal with this. Who can stay here for now, Gail? Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> really? Well, it doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Hmm. Say failed Arcana. I wonder if he used charm or something on us so that we feel a bit more inclined to trust him. You have a strange definition of flattery. Dining with a devil left a bad taste in my mouth. You're familiar with devilry then? I've never met a devil, but of course I've read a great deal about them. Even feigning a mortal form, it was easy to detect the whiff of sulfur about him. Mm. Mm. To spot the flicker of hellfire in his eyes. I thought you just farted. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. Mm. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. All I'm hearing is conjecture. But what is it that the devil really wants so very badly? I'll remind you that when dealing with a devil, you always draw the short straw. There's no such thing as an absolute certainty. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. What Do does not he want, his though? Offer out of hand. He hasn't told us if what he wants. one quality, all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition quality they share with many humans come to think of it and what do you think Raphael's ambition could be and how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game then surely he'll end up winning by figuring out his true intentions fact one there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles fact two a devil offers to take it away Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out mm. again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his so special. Rhyme, Everybody wants down us. Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Okay. Interesting. I didn't think Gail would have that perspective on it. Also, leave the party. Go ahead. I'm listening. Get out of the party. Leave. We're bringing Shadow Bay. He's still stealthing. Ooh, ooh. Hello, Shadow Bay. Always a pleasure. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. 
We can handle this one, too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? <laughs> it's all bluster. Read her thoughts. Just she might she'll mind that, won't she? Help is help, no matter the source. Honestly, I'm not so sure. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Not sure I can. To be honest, being overconfident and thinking he could outwit higher beings was always his thing. Yeah, true. And his greatest mistake. You'd think he would have learned his lesson, Schnoofles. You didn't ask him to leave. Oops. <laughs> I'll go back and ask him in a second. I've changed my mind. Perhaps we should trust Raphael. I admit I'm feeling less sure all of a sudden. I'm not going to change my mind. We can't trust Raphael. What do you think is best? I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Okay. Keeping it secret for now. I must admit I'm feeling less sure all of a sudden. No, I, I really don't trust him. I really don't trust him. Good. That's what I wanted oh, to hear. Oh, okay. He's clever. My order uses the same Very tactic clever. in dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. Oh. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Well, I'm glad that we think so similarly. I thought she might be a bit more down to trust someone morally questionable for power, but it seems not. Alda, thank you so much for gifting the soul of myth. Mithy is a long time wisp here and is coming back for a second month of immortality as well. A very worthy soul taking. I didn't realize you were so well versed in mental and emotional torments. Aren't you glad that I am? It's oh. an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. I think I know what kind of romance she has. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just saying. Although I know Star is definitely into that. 100%. She might be as well. Um. Join me, but I need to check out Gail first. Give me a second. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to move all the plates. Sorry. Also, I want to give Shadowheart the flail. What's on your mind? I think she'd like it. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so, so be, it. be it. Bye. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Okay. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? Um. Yeah, join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Okay. We've got Lady Shart with us now. Let's see if she has anything to say about this room. I'm just curious. I wonder what the next move is. Onward then. interesting because this one has other runes on it wondering if we need to make like an eclipse in the center so like Oop. everybody move time to sneer at some moon witch trinkets she really doesn't like it do you know what i did tree so i put a statue of the moon goddess in her tent in the camp i knew she'd love it so I just had to pick that up for her. Very chic, very chic. I did that too. <laughs> I love that we're all just as heartless. I think it's an eclipse in the middle, but... I haven't 
Is there any more clues for now? Um, yeah. I'm going to be kicking myself because I did do this in early access and I know that I'm going to remember at the last second and be like, oh, God damn it. That's what we had to do. Ah. It's to do with the moon phases. Um, at first I thought, oh, we have to fill a moon here. This was altered since early access, if I recall correctly. Oh. Mrs. Shart, why do you have nothing to offer? Where's Come on. Give us some insight into the moon goddess. I know you love the moon goddess. Hmm. I'm looking for any of the clues around the temple. Yeah, my, my first um kind of thought was this should be all lit up. But then I tried the lever after that and it didn't work, so... Maybe this all in shadow and then all of that lit up? I just, just, uh, who knows? Unless I'm supposed to make like a crescent moon somehow. Um, do you have the books? I have various books. I have every single book that we've come across so far. I think there was some phrase in some book, like a, like a riddle. And I cannot remember. And there's nothing in here directly. That's what I was thinking, all full blacks in the middle, so like an eclipse. I think we would have to like transfer them around. Oh, I'm so bad at sequential puzzles. <laughs> Chat knows this. Time for some lore whisper then. I mean... We had the book that was the, the lore of the moon goddess. Moon and harp. I mean, it's all to do with moons. That's from the other. There's poetry from the other place we were at. Can't. I have a lot of books back at camp. Goblin notes. Oh no, that's about housing. Okay, okay, okay. I have some memory. Like, cause there's, there's all these paintings on the walls and I, I think they have something to do with it. There's one there. There's two there, there's two. I can't see up that high, but there's two there, two stars. I think Eclipse in the middle, maybe. But I'm too dumb to work out in my mind how many rotations it's going to take to get them all in the middle. <laughs> yeah, all four blacks where the light shines is my other theory. Because it's like, oh, like a, a moon eclipse kind of thing. Um, we would have to turn this a little bit. Because it's obviously something to do with the light shining. At least, like, it's making me think that it is. Everyone in chat who's done this is in such pain right now. <laughs> such pain. <laughs> yeah. Even even if you haven't solved the puzzle, keep in mind, no, no back seating. Uh, ah! This goes very far down. Total eclipse of the shot. Yeah, did it. Big brain. Impressed that either. Oh, yo, yo. What did that open? Is there a door? Is there a door? Is the door? I heard a thing. I don't know what that opened. I don't know what that did. Uh, oh. Oh. I I don't know why, but I have some memory of this opening up and this being a stairway. I don't know why, because I, I seem to remember some, maybe I made this up in a dream or something. I seem to remember these circles overlapping and then like crossing over each other with clockwork and then turning into a staircase. But maybe it was just a door all along and yeah. It's fine, it's fine. It's fancy enough for me. And this is the Underdark. 
Okay. We don't want to go there just yet. Just yet. This riddle had to represent the face of the moon, so they simplified it. Yeah. Yeah, like waxing, waning. I remember it being much more complicated. I was here for a while. Gonna love the Underdark, but we haven't rescued Helsin yet. We can't leave him behind. Let's go see what we can find. And this was restricted area. I wonder if there's anything over there. That feels a bit too jumpable for there to be nothing. What's the story? Go on, giant woman. Yeah. Whoa. The jump distance on Karlak is quite something. Uh, I mean, there's a corpse here. There might be stuff on the corpse. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Money. I see money. Money is good. Getting Halcyn is part of the bare necessities. It's true, it's true. We wouldn't want him to be dead by now. Did she just say shadow lack? <laughs> oh, car lack. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> shadow lack. Da, da, da. Question in the shadows, shadow lack. Okay. Well, as far as I can see, this doesn't lead to the dungeons. I'm very disappointed. But we found we found this room. And we have a key that leads somewhere altar down here nothing much there let's get back through priestess guts room better than car shart this oh there's not but a crime around here there's been no crimes there's no crimes at all i'm going through here next. okay is there actually anything in here basic poison and scroll oh. of whole person okay I was hoping it might be another entrance to the dungeons and we could save Halston, but it was not to be. I'll lock myself up. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, like get out of here. Like a or a vandal in the night. Silent Karlak, sneaking barbarian. Let's go through here. Are they even trying to hide? Oh. So Luna, as if mingling oh. with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Well, let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Okay. Not your usual horn, so I take it. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Agreed. Are we cucumbered? I think we might be cucumbered. Oh no, they were just walking really slowly. I want to put some of these random loot bits back at camp, though, because they're heavy. All of the actors also did some special lines just in case they'd be multiclassed into Bard. I love how much care was taken with all that customization. I think that's what makes this game so special, is all of those tiny, tiny touches that no one else would have thought of. Okay. Goblins. Goblins, goblins, goblins. He's back here. And then, okay. I mean, we, we could try and get over here and then go this way. I guess this is an easier way to uh, avoid priestess gut. Can everybody make it? Yeah, you can get gooey. It's okay, we don't need to hide. There's been no crime. There's been no crime whatsoever. I am just a normal goblin citizen looking for the location of the dungeons. F5. This ruin's dedicated to Seluna, vile moon witch. For once, the goblin I'm Circle of the Moon, Druid, actually. Mm. I mean, you live here. I mean, maybe they'll take my word for it now. We'll see. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, I live here. 
Carlac, why are you going you up? Like big, bristling, hairy legs. Oh, I do. I want to go down there, mate. Oh, that's the spider pit. Oh, I love big hairy legs. What does Druck think of this? Another outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Oh no. Well, well, well. I'm looking for a way in because there's this guy called Halsin and... Uh, oh my god. Hello, smaller giant spider. They might be upset if I kill them. What if I became a spider and then went down there? F5. If I was like, hi, spider friend. I'm just one of you. Hello, With friend. Hate. Can I talk to the spider as a spider? Oh my god, I can. I don't know how I'm going to get down there. Uh, I can jump. I can just do a jumpy jump. Good idea, I think. I'm going to take some damage, but worth it to talk to my spider friend. Hello, spider friend. How are you doing? Have you been wrongfully imprisoned? Okay. <laughs> Damn it. I saw that. I saw the talk icon and I thought we had a chance of just chatting with the spider. Not very friendly spider. She might be like, this is my place. Oh, hi, Mog. You like the spider? She's watching the spider. Are you going to catch that one for me? Me and Mog are a team. If there's a spider in my house, I just hold her up on the wall. It's where I can see the spider and she goes for it. She's really good. I could do speak with animals, although... All's well that ends. Mm. Not as bad as it I don't know have. if I'm in range. Amigos, I think I'm just going to end up going this way. I want to have a word. Yes, my desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and mm. bite you and eat you. Well, that's nice. You should eat a goblin instead. They're delicious. You'd be sick if you ate me. I carry a curse. Uh, yeah, goblins are delicious, I hear. Really tasty stuff. Uh... Oh, I can do animal friendship. They can't attack me anyway, I'm through the gate, so I may as well just use... Oh, can I do everything? Oh my god. That would use a spell slot, but... Okay. Not that I need to, anyway. Delicious. I do not know. The cruel and sharp. Yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable. Yes. You yes. must open the door. Oh. I mean... I can. <laughs> How many children do you have in here? You reckon you're going to have any troubles consuming them? Because you're not like the highest health spider I've ever seen. I'll be honest. I wonder... Another step forward. Can we employ Operation Cat once again? The Meow Strat? Meow. What to do? Best be on my way. Okay. Operation Meow. How delicious. Get Starry ready to stealth in. Still breathing. Oh, Meow. Operation Meow. Hello. You gonna help with Operation Meow? Let's move. Okay. Did I not meow? I haven't meowed yet. Okay. Hello. 
me out. What a day. Fine. Starry's gonna get in there. Let's. Ooh, let's, darling. Okay. Enter. I love to, thanks. Meow. It's working. <laughs> no! Don't leave. Don't leave. Meow. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. There we go. What's the story? My faith will guide me. Can't meow again. They're all coming to see the cat. What's that? Tasty cat. <coughs> meow. Look at me. I'm beautiful. Someone there. Behold me. Oh God. Ready or not. Can't look. Pick it. So that's progress. So someone's got the key. Maybe one of these guys has the key. Ha. Never a dull moment. I can try and pickpocket them. Careful. Like bring Starry I back might. up and pickpocket them. Be shy. Let's get on with it. Meow. Oh, no meow till next Boy, time. That stays closed. The spiders aren't exact. Time. Oh no. I should speak meow. Up. Hiding successful, really? Ah, I don't know if he's telling lies about that one. She's looking at me. Very, very quiet. Okay. Soldier. My face protects me. Meow. Well, hello. Neither seen nor heard. The guards aren't interested in the cat anymore. <laughs> I can't pickpocket him. Nah. I'm gonna have to find another way to open this. was lovely. At least things have stayed interesting. Might go and have a look as a cat. I can jump really far as a cat. And I'm friends with the spiders Need now, I think. Just have a look around. There's a chance that I could go in by myself in Freehouse Inn somehow it's okay mr spider sorry to disturb you oh did you eat this man oh that's nice he has no loot so that's all good the fire of temple Can I get up here? First step is the hardest. Oh yeah. Oh, I did it without jumping, okay. It's just dark. There's nothing in here. As far as I can see anyway. Weird. There's a spider egg. Many spider eggs. Cats should have dark vision. Yeah, you see they do. Just me squinting. Hey! <gasps> Wait. Prison? Oh no! Wait. What? What? I'm so confused. Okay, so it's underneath the floor. 
of the prison cell. <laughs> I don't think I should be able to see up there. So many spider eggs. Okay, good to know. So there's no way into the actual dungeons from down here. <laughs> and it can't be lock picked. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Something lit up on the right. There's a bunch of spider eggs in there. I'll go back and check because it feels weird that there's not anything. Spider egg, spider egg, spider egg, spider egg, spider egg, spider egg, spider egg. Spider egg. Spider eggs. What? Something flickered. As in like a light or an object. It's just eggs all around down here. Whoa. <laughs> object in the room with the spiders. Oh, okay. Have a look around. Hey, Papa, welcome on in. Yeah, I haven't been streaming quite as much. I've been on a fair few days here and there. I'm kind of trying to balance my schedule at the moment because I've had so much going on, loads of events happening this month. October seems like there's just a lot going on. And then I'm also a part-time video editor now. So I'm, I'm kind of learning to balance that schedule and how many edits I have coming in and that kind of thing. That smithy. Oh, there's a lever. Oh, don't touch that. What? Do you keep control of your beast? I mean, I'm a cat. Just behave. No. You think I'm going to behave? Who do you think I am? Why can't I use the lever? I guess it's because I'm a cat, but sometimes it lets me do things as a cat. Okay, well, there's this small problem of how the hell am I going to get out of here again? Unless cat things and I can jump back up because cats are quite good at jumping. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, interesting. kind of will need to get back up again unless there's some kind of way in here it's kind of hard to tell what's on lower level and what gives you access to a higher level in here nothing in here Oy! have they turned around again yeah i might be able to switch for them everyone else minds their business and then stealth and then see if i can you. Well. I... I don't need any attention right uh, now. I'm not good at sneaking. He's heard me. He's turned around. You've been what? Hey. How can you still see me? I'm just having a good time with the spider. Hiding successful. Turn around. Let me get the others to distract him again. This way. Hello. Hello, Joe. Unless you like big, bristling, hairy legs. I think he does. I think he enjoys some big, bristly, hairy legs. Big, bristly, hairy Helsin legs sound great. Hello. Me? Alright, alright, alright. Don't know what the Absolute wants with your kind. She's already got us. Yeah, goblins are superior. Don't draw any attention. How are you still seeing me? Why is Shadowheart just staring into here? Okay. You've been warned. Not yeah. everyone subscribes to what is mine. La, is la, 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 Okay. Can't risk being in open view. They're both in conversation, though. How are you still looking? Well, well, well. Don't know what the absolute wants with oh, your Oh, oh, but he's... She's already He's done with us. the conversation. Okay. 
so he doesn't stay in conversation. Well, I guess I'm stuck in here forever. End of the line, friends. I'm going to be hanging out with these spiders for a very long time now. What now? Let's see if I know anything else, though. I didn't talk to the smaller spider. You are safe. We will not bite one another. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. I need a quick word. Oh. Maybe that's his mum. I should talk to the mum. Amicus animal. That was a waste of my speak with animals. Damn it! Well! There's gotta be a way for me to get out without going through this game. Mm. Need to take a long rest if I was gonna do changing into another animal to get through here. I reckon like, Can I change it to a rat? Is that a thing in this level? Oh, oh, I can be a raven. I can be a raven and I can fly out. That works. Well, shape recharge. Okay. I think we're gonna have to have a nice long rest before I can get out of here. Oh, <gasps> so spooky. And yes, yeah, Smithy, your soul was taken. Hope you don't mind. I'll keep it very safe. So I was considering taking a long rest. I also still haven't talked to everybody about what they think about Devil Man. So let me see if I can have a chat. Will's gonna be like, oh, Devil Man. Devil Men are great. Well met. Love Devil Men. What do you make of Raphael then? He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue, an old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach. Uh, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Classic. It's always a trick. Don't you think? It's interesting because I think almost no one has said, oh, Raphael is a good option. We should go for Raphael. Everyone's cautious, which I like. We're kind of on the same wavelength here. With the right teacher? Yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Get to the point. You mean Raphael? We should at least consider his offer, given our circumstances. Spare me the parables. I've no intention of bargaining with the likes of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting, coming from someone who's already been ensnared by a devil. Yeah, I'm going to use some sark here. And given the circumstance, I do it again. My soul was a necessary price to pay for... Mm, he can't tell us what he bargained you know, I can't for. Say more, but I can say this. I had but one road I could travel. For now, you have a dozen. A hundred. A thousand to choose from. A road that leads to a devil is the very last one you should follow. You're so mysterious. Please drop more of your mysterious backstory on me. Okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. That hat is sending me. It's the best hat. It really highlights his horns. I like the idea that I gave it to him like, Will, um, this hat's for you. We picked it up in a dungeon. Would you like it? And then he just took out his knife and carved some holes in it. It looks great. What are you talking about? Shadowheart, why are you laughing at me? It looks good. Ooh, he's got his wizard hat on. Oh my god, Lazel, I'm so sorry. I forgot about you. <laughs> Speaking of stupid hats. I just enjoy torturing my party members. She loves it. It's so in this season. 
speak. <laughs> oh, hello. I'd like you to join me. Looks even better on Shadow Bay, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like with that on, she'd just look like some sort of hipster, though. Shadow Heart with a beret on would be like, oh, full vibes. Goth girl, cute, full vibes. Oh, she has no opinion on it. Okay, all right. All right. You don't want to talk about it? Okay. Fair, fair. Hey, Duggo. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yeah, pretty good. How about you? Oh, I can't ask him how he is. Oh. Hmm. Good boy. Yeah. Bestest boy. Just wondered something. It probably won't work. But I have to try. Let's just say, you know, I had some spare meat, like some roasted, roasted dwarf belly, and I decided to throw it. <laughs> I just did bludgeoning damage to the actual dwarf belly. Maybe he'd like a sausage though? I don't want to sacrifice the salami. I've got some dwarf leg. It's, it's pretty tasty. If I was a dog, I'd eat dwarf leg. So I just had some bones, didn't I? That might work. Whew. Scratchy. No, you don't want it. I got it especially for you. You sure? Tasty. Tasty bone. No? Okay. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Okay, we should end the day. F5. Always F5. Imagine if you accidentally hit him. I had the funniest bug in early access. It was just after we did the ogre section and I went back to camp and Scratch was just attacking everyone. He was just in full on rage mode and no matter what I did, he would not stop attacking. I don't know what happened to him. He just turned feral. Yeah, maybe rabies. Maybe. Oh, my boy. Something to say. Looking at something. Oh. I mean, it's always a good view when you're around. Just looking. What are you doing? I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Ah, the no reflection. Another quirk of my affliction. Thing. Do you miss it? Seeing your own face? Vanity's a weakness. Yeah, do you miss your face? I mean, the rest of us get to enjoy it. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. Well, just to save you worrying, 6.5, perfect score. Perfect score. What color were your eyes before? I... I don't know. I can't remember. Oh. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Stare into his eyes, taking in every detail of his face. That's either going to be really romantic or just deeply creepy. Can I do it in a loving way? F5. For you, maybe, but I like what I see. Yeah! Do I stare at him lovingly or do I tell him he's a proper snack? Um, it's for the best. You're not exactly aging gracefully. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's a lie. That's a lie. I kind of want to tease him. <sighs> I feel like he likes playing hard to get. If we show him that we like him too much, then we're not going to be as attractive to him. So we've got to, got to be a bit, a little bit evasive. Who flies through the night and smells an hour in the winds and still loves you? It's me, Shart. We talked to Shart. We had a lovely conversation with Shart today. Us and Shart, so close. Hey, back you. 
I'm gonna stare at him. What? I see you. I see you. And what do you see, exactly? <laughs> Strong, piercing eyes. The creases when you laugh. Wrinkles are just tattoos of smiles long gone, after all. Your mole definitely grabs my attention. I see someone wasting my time, motherfucker. Be nice. Be nice. You've got blood on your cock piece. It needs cleaning. Do you want me do you want me to take out tissue or something? It's just it's messy. Strong piercing eyes. I see the creases when you laugh. Oh no, he's not gonna like the wrinkles. I think he's he's so vain that if we say he has any kind of line on his face, he'll be like, oh god, do I? Oh no. Your mole, I mean I feel like it's pointing out imperfections. Also, I he just said that he didn't like his eyes now that they turned red, so I don't want to point out his eyes again. I'm gonna go with the creases when you laugh. Attempting to draw attention to the fact that, you know, I appreciate that there is a lighter side to him. He's probably not going to like it, though. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm a totally young vampire. Not your doting grandmother. Sorry. You can do better. What else? <sighs> Solid 10-pack going on there. That's like a 12-pack of beers, I think. That's, that's looking pretty good. The way your hair curls around your ears. That dangerous smile. You're unsightly mole. <laughs> Do you have any other moles? I'm a doctor, you see. I'm, I'm qualified. I am a druid. I have proficiency in uh, medicine. I could have a look for you. You know, it's always important to get, get checked for these things. The way your hair curls around your ears. This is meant to be flattery, <laughs> not poetry. Just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. You're very fucking pretty, okay? Karlak is beautiful. You're fine, though. You're fine. Now, Shadowheart, there's beauty. Is that all you want? Shallow prose? Hardly. There's also gold, sex, revenge. Quite the list, really. Mombo combo. But failing any of those, I will always settle for shallow praise. We could tick all those off the list if you like. Hey, hey, I'm not done with you. Hey. Yes? What do you make of Raphael's deal, then? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. That is true. He's in a bit of a bind here. He can't really win either way. You're trading one master for another. He'll be a slave either way. How about we just go and kill Kazador? Then we don't have to make a deal, and we don't have to deal with him hunting you down anymore. The tadpole, though, still a concern. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know Kazador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. You know... I know it's been a difficult day for you. We've talked about some very emotional topics. So, just offering. You don't have to. If you're feeling peckish, come my way tonight. I was just wondering when you'd invite me back for a bite. <laughs> Thing is, I'm kind of cautious about I that because do. I feel like Never a he, moment. again, doesn't want the easy people. He likes a bit of a challenge. And if I'm like, oh yeah, snack on me whenever you like, he's not going to find that attractive whatsoever. 
Anything else, Will? Well met. Not today. Okay. Shot. May the darkness protect you. Okay. On my way. Nothing from her. Anything else from Gail? What's on your mind? Mostly Starion. Have a nice day. Maybe Lazel would chat now. Maybe. Speak. Chick. <laughs> the, the uncomfortable silence every time we talk to. Did, does anyone know? Is that intentional? Is it intentional? Because every time you speak to Lazel, it feels like it takes longer for the conversation options to come up. Everyone else, it's just immediately. Oh, how are you doing? I want to talk about what we've been through so far. But with Lazel, there's just this long, drawn out silence. And it makes my skin crawl every time. So awkward. Oh, fiery woman. What's the story? In Balamori? Aw, you got no opinion on this whole devil business? I guess we talked about it before, haven't we? So, nothing else to say. Okay, uh, Starry's gonna come and have a snack tonight, so prepare yourselves. I am gonna have some baguette. Oh, I don't want to eat garlic in case it makes me taste bad. Oh, a baguette with honeycomb on top. And uh, pumpkins, because, you know, fall. It's fall season, yes. Oh, oh, oh dreams once again. I hope Halston isn't dying in the cells right now. I'm taking my time. I promised I'd be back. <gasps> me? Hello, me. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. And you haven't tried to have it removed. No, not yet. I trusted that you would protect me. It might not be the worst thing to become a mind flayer. If it doesn't transform me, what's the harm in keeping it around? Huh? It may not transform you immediately, but it's only a matter of time. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Hmm. How do you know so much about these tadpoles? I have kept a careful watch on the movements of the cult. Though the Absolute's aims are not yet clear to me, its methods are. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. Indeed I did. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey when the order to transform is given it will not be a matter of days they will be mind flayers in an instant were it not for my protection so would you why should i believe you yeah why are you protecting me if you are protecting me why do you care because i am just like you and i need an ally just like you I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. What's that? I still.
still do not trust you at all. What is going on over there? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Zero trust. Why do you have to appear in our dreams if you're just a normal person looking for a solution to the same problem? Hmm. Interesting. Is anyone going to talk about their dreams last night? I've been dreaming of our uh... enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers, the result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Hmm, I don't know, Gail. Our tadpoles are part of the problem, not a solution. We shouldn't rely on them or their powers. You're right. We must use every means at our disposal, even unsavory ones. That remains to be seen. I still don't trust this dream visitor's intentions. I still do not trust their intentions. What are they getting up with this, really? I suppose you're right. We still see only a part of the picture, however much our visitor claims to show the full vista of options at our disposal. I can't deny my curiosity, but, as you say, no harm in delaying it, for now at least. Aye, aye. Starry, what did they tell you? I'm curious because it seems like she's giving everybody a different story. And, well, they're not even appearing in the same form each time. They're trying to appeal to us, trying to worm their way into our minds. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like yeah. it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. What kind of gift? Whatever's at the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means possible. I don't like it. This whole thing feels sort of like a trap, to be honest. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. <laughs> Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? Darling. Darling. So angry. All of a sudden, it was just a sudden attitude change going on there. That felt like one half of the line was like it was different depending on your relationship status with him because at, at the beginning he was kind of chill and then second half he just went oh are you here to spoil my fun you're a piece of shit oh. <laughs> so he changed his mind halfway and really went for it what about you well i had another dream last night the visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection mm. it gave me a tadpole gift too just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. We need these powers to infiltrate the cults. This is the plan that works. Uh, I'd sooner avoid these powers if we can. I feel like we're being led into a trap. Then we'd do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly, if you must use them at all. Mm. Shadowheart, I think, is still suspicious too. I had another dream. 
Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Scratch is wandering the around in the background. Out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. Okay, she's she doesn't really want to discuss it. She just wanted to tell us what she thought. So yeah, did Scratch have a dream? The dog wags his tail. A small oh. bag clenched between his teeth. What you got for me, boy? You that here? What is it? I mean, I would let you keep it, but I don't know what it is. I just need to see if it's dangerous. Money. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Oh, sandals. Oh, can I get them back now? I just wanted to see what it was. I don't want to take your toy away. Oh. Hey, boy. You're Scratch's so cute. tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal from you. Okay. Stealing shoes. Christine Sandal. Can I throw them for him? Never worn. Ooh, can I wear socks with them? Hey, good boy. No, you don't want it back? Okay. All right, all right. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. I have played fetch with Scratch. He's got a little ball and you can throw it. I keep trying to throw other things for him, but he seems to only like the ball. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. Oh, she doesn't like it being told what we will do. find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. Agreed. You've no idea what damage it could do to us. How far into a lithid madness it could drag us. I think you are right. We should ignore it at all costs. I think the dream figure was right. Follow the cultists and we find the source of our tadpoles. Nyeh. I distrust the visitor too. I'll avoid using this power. Well chosen. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. And there will come a battle, of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. Did you say by my lips? That's rude. These dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back again? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. A greater master? Who or what could that be? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Mm. Well, everyone in the party seems to have the right idea. Like, Karlak's going to be cautious too, I'm quite sure of it. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Then let's just do that. What could go wrong? I'm not sure. If we can use these tadpoles for good before extracting them, it could be worth it. Yeah, this feels like a trap. I don't think we should indulge this dream visitor at all. Agreed. A bit of shiny armor doesn't impress me that much. I don't want to get taken in by a pretty offer and pay the price later on. Okay. Literally, everyone says they don't trust it. Which I wasn't expecting. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, I'm with my spider friends. I was going to fly out of here. I do want to let them free, but I'm struggling to distract these guys. I guess, like, 
if um, if Gale was here, we could use his cat to distract them and then see if it will let me unlock it, but I'm guessing it needs some kind of a key. Can I not switch through the party right now? Hmm. Not everybody's here. They're with me. I guess I have to take them back first. I can't take Lozelle seriously with that hat. What do you mean? It's a very serious hat. They told me it gave me plus 20 intimidation. Oh, hi there. Still alive. Would so you mind guess. staying here for a little bit? Mm. Yeah? Really? Really, really? Yeah, man. Sorry. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. I hate how they make you feel so bad every time you decide to switch up the party. Every time. Also, Astarian ate me. Yeah, plus one to ability checks. Definitely worth. Woohoo. Maybe it'll bring us closer. How can I help? Join my party. With pleasure. Mm -hmm. Lead on. Right, and back we go. So I was trying to find a way that I could let the spiders out of here because... Oh, hi. Hey, I didn't realise you'd spawn in here. Seek and you shall find me. It's fine with Ready me. And willing. But there's a gate here. We befriended the spiders. And they said, yes, they will eat the goblins if we let them out. So I was going to let them free, but... It wouldn't let me open the gate, so I need a distraction. I need a distraction. I mean, we're thinking cat is the way to go. So let me let me cat it up. Certainly. Kitty. You want to do some meow meow? And then we'll try and get a starion to open this gate up. There's a chance that as soon... Oh, you can go through the fence. Oh my god, could I have just done that before when I was... Oh my god, wait, what? I didn't know the cat could go through the fence like that. Can you can you jump through? Like you have to, you have to register it as a jump? Uh... How, how, what, how, when, who? Wait, how do I make you go through again? You just got through. You literally just went through. Can you go in? Oh, okay, you just have to be at exactly the right spot. Meow. And then Starry, Stell. Come on, boy. Hiding successful. Yeah, but it wasn't though. Who is looking at me? Because... Let's try that again. Watch your back. I'll go into turn based if I have to. Here we go. Boy, that stays closed. Ah. Ain't exactly time. If I'm going to kill you anyway, I may as well lockpick in front of your face. That's Whoa, hey, hey, yeah, I know. The spiders aren't exactly tight. I'm trying to do some shit buggery here. Nobody look. They're already freaked out by the cat. This woman's not having it, though. She's not interested in the cat. <coughs> Meow. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. There is work to do. Okay, Shadowheart, have a little conversation with her. Unless you lie. Oh, okay, that's all she has to say. Careful, <sighs> shady, shady hearts. Stop that. They're like, stop hiding. Stop being sneaky bastard. Look at the cat. Yeah, I'm still watching. Oh, because I'm suspicious now. So he can't be distracted by the cat. I've 
trapped Gale in here now as well. Um, I mean, I guess I could get Starry to the other side and then try and do it from the inside because, like, they might not be looking at the inside. Mei-chan could work. Uh, it's more that it needs lock picking. So Starry's one of the only people who can do that pretty well. Um, now we're all just jumping in the spider's nest. Oh, he's prone. You okay, boy? Okay, Gail, Gail will help you up if you need it. Okay. I can't sell. Damn it. What if I do just open it? Like, if I'm going to kill them anyway. You can't stop me from lockpicking from the other side. That stays closed. It's got medium toughness. We could just knock the thing down. I mean... What you gonna do? I'm on the other side of the fence. There's a time and a place for smashing, but it appears yeah. this oh, well, just, it. Just try. You're getting locked up. I mean, if you take me to prison, that's, that's probably quite an easy way to find house in, actually. That works for me. That works for me. Yeah, take me to prison. We love an escape room. Oh, just Gale. Okay. <laughs> just gale on his own the rest of us is still in there uh story won't even try and lock pick it come on come on my boy wait come on, come on. oh wait, that stays closed yep arrest me arrest me go on There's you won't in a place for smashing but <laughs> my cat went to prison too everyone's going to prison and then story will just lock pick this gate we go out free house in the goblins aren't gonna like us very much, but that's okay. Um, everyone just go hit the door. Let's pop you open, shall we? Oi! That, that stays, stays closed. That stays There's a time and a place for smashing, but it appears this isn't it. Okay. There you go. Oh bye. That's okay. And uh, no, whose turn sure. is it to go for prison? Oh, it's my turn. I like that they somehow found a way to come and take me to prison without opening the spider gate i'm really impressed that stays close that stays close that stays close but what if it don't what if it don't stay close what are you gonna do about it but it appears this isn't it you're getting locked up <laughs> let's go to prison okay They've got a little set of cat-sized cuffs. No, <laughs> Yeah, we'd need four of them. Okay, so we've got some silk cocoons. I really like how so far, if you do go to prison, it seems like each room you go to is a little escape room. So it's a little puzzle and there is a way to get out. You can get out. Are there even any guards here? Amateurs. Trust no one. Can you lock pick? Oh, I can't lockpick it. No thieves tools, no! <laughs> Wait, what? We've got no thieves tools. That's probably why the other lockpicking wasn't working. Um, now there's a smoke powder bomb there. If I could yoink it through the thing here, and then I can throw it, and the smoke powder bomb does force damage, so it would probably work on that gate over there. My pleasure. And they're left. The tools of their own demise in plain sight. I'd like to be sneaky about it. Also, um, the cat can get through. And I can get through, because I can turn into a cat. Cat heist, cat heist. <laughs> Meow. I pray. Okay, how many goblins are we dealing with? <gasps> Halston! Halston, my sweet baby bear! We're, we're coming for you. Hold on, hold on. We could cat gate this entire thing. Can't give up now. Okay. Rescue cat. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get out as well. You have committed enough crimes to become a fugitive of the law. Nearby guards will do their best to bring you to justice. 
Eh, justice schmustus. I'm a cat. I don't care. I don't care about law. Oh no, are they torturing Halson? I don't know if I want to talk to him. Another one. Oh, it's the goblin kiddos again. So rude. Do you think it falls as well? Get out of here, kids. <laughs> this cat roars. Roar. Come over here, kids. Damn it. Show yourself. I'm a cat. Okay, we've got wags in here as well. If I could get to the lever, I I could just open it and the wags would go and kill them all, including the children. Is that evil? Ah, they're goblins. It's fine. Night night, Aria. Sweet dreams. Okay, so what if I a cat was to open this lever can i can i do that use conjured cat okay that's a conjured cat so i can't use it but this cat can be the distraction cat let's move and then i can be the cat cat oh, <laughs> oh my god Someone's conjured a spider already. Okay, I say we just we just leave this situation. We go back inside the jail cell and just wait for all the goblins to die. We're not the focus of their wrath here. Just let the spiders kill the go- oh, No, they're hurting Halson. Don't hurt Halson. How is he doing? Oh, he's fine. I mean, I'm thinking that's Halson. It just says cave bear. But it must be Halson. Um. Run away! Why are they all gonna beat the bear? The bear's not the one that left them caged this whole time. Oh god, this was entirely the wrong way to go. Uh, yeah, well done me, well done. I'm so proud. Okay. Nothing will stand in my way. Okay, that's Conjured Cat. Survival I am Cat Cat. It's Cat Cat's turn. Cat Cat in turn. He's the only one in combat. No. <laughs> they can only throw things at him. I guess the wogs are the goblins' friends then. I was thinking they were being imprisoned here and they would turn on their masters. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to F5. Need to find a way forward. Um, yeah. I mean, we could just slaughter them all. That's also an option. Cat versus spider. Cat always wins. Let's spill some blood. Yes, darling. Quick and easy. Can we just smoke powder out of here? Gail can misty step. What should I do? We could just attack the door. Medium toughness. So I have to do. Woo! Yes, Halston! Yes! Get him! Daddy's here! He might let us free too. Close the door on the wogs again. I might try. How dare you! Can I not inspect it? Medium toughness. So, what does medium toughness require to just beat down? it doesn't say on the tooltip. 
I just see the gate. But he could misty step through. 20 damage? Oh, okay. 20 damage or higher. Ouch. Ow. Uh... Let's smoke. Let's smoke. I need to get everybody out of the way first because I don't want to damage anyone. To focus. There's a lot of goblins. I think they're going to get friends as well. We can't let that happen. Get their attention off Halston. Time for child murder. Poor goblin children. They just wanted to poke a bear. They never asked for this. All right, Starry. Uh, you stay there. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Cat versus Wog does not look like a great option. Uh, I'm gonna struggle because of this oil as well. Not enough movement. Movement cost is doubled whilst I'm in the grease. Okay, uh, get back. Have to keep going. Same goes for you, Gail. I don't want to blast you to smithereens. Okay, get back here. There's also cocoons, which I know you can set on fire, so there might be a way you can use those too. Okay. It's bomb time. I know that Astarian has it. Why can't I see inventories? Eh. Am I a dum-dum? Am I on some weird filtered view? Oh, they took my shit. I didn't think that they might take the 14,000 random swords I had and bombs and all that off me. I've still got the mysterious artifact, but on story I picked up the smoke thing, didn't I? I picked up the smoke thing through the window. Oh no, apparently I didn't. Okay, uh, go grab that again, Gil. Go, go yoink that. <laughs> that makes sense. It would be a bit stupid if the goblins were like, Oh, yeah, let's put these people in prison, these stinking, rotting adventurers. Oh, yeah, but make sure you leave them all their stuff, you know, their full supply of lockpicks and uh, all their weapons and anything they could need to escape. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. They rolled a 16. I can make them roll a 3. Sure. So they don't hit the Helsin. It's okay, baby bear. We got you. <laughs> If I can get to the other side of the grease, I might actually use it against them. Oh, rolled a 23. No, you rolled a four. You rolled a four. I've decided. Distract them. Distract them, kitty cat. He okay. He's getting low. I need to heal him. Okay. Someone get this accursed bomb. There. Okay. Throw the bomb. I don't know if the path is going to be too interrupted. Let me try to do it from here. Too heavy to throw. What do you mean? There we go. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like it did anything. That was my one good plan, guys. Uh, is that grease on the floor now? Uh, th there's also concentrate. There's a bottle of grease over here. Um, Gail has it as a cantrip though, so we oh, we may as well me. use the cantrip. Great, wonderful. 
Love that for us. Um. Hmm. I mean, I could just let you guys out when it's all over, but having you in combat would be kind of helpful. Just punch the door. Just punch it. Throw your boots at the door. Throw your clothes at the door. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, sure. Yay, it did nothing. Wonderful. So much for peace. Okay, uh... Gonna run to the other side of the crease, and then I'll just wait around here, I think. I'm gonna heal house in. Ah, I need to touch him. It's a touch based, I think. Yes. Okay, so next turn I can do that. Um, I could bless him. Oh, I need to touch him for that as well. In which case, screw this guy with a moonbeam. Get him, Halfin. Yeah! Oh my god, he hits so hard. Whoa. Okay, Gail, you may as well misty step your way out of here. Unless we want to try our luck with grease and then blowing it up with grease, but I honestly don't know if that would do that much more damage. Just just get out of here. Forget about us. Get out. Save yourself. Save yourself. So wizards can actually do a misty step as long as they can see. So I, I just remember this because in D&D, I did Misty Step through a door keyhole and I looked through and then I did Misty Step to escape. Hi Jazz, hi Bochi, how are you doing? Welcome on in. We're rescuing Halsim. What's happening? Gayla's okay, cast Grease by accident. Grease or lightning? Well, you can put some lightning in the grease and then uh, electrocute everyone. Oh, hi Mog. You come to see Halsim? Yeah, looking good. Well, I guess these two are just going to stay in here unless they have any better ideas. Um, it's probably a dead body in here, so we could probably get that down. Oh, oh, I've got to get it down with a cantrip, I think. There you go. If there's a body in here, they might have loot. That was my reasoning. An acid vial. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. Let's finish this. There's a skull. Can't use a bone to lockpick, can I? It's not like a skeleton key. Come on, can't stay idle. Okay. Well, he's about to step in the grease. I don't know if I want to do anything just yet. Let's move the moonbeam. Oh, moonbeam's so good. He did save, but it's it's going okay. Halston healed himself. Whoa, Halston! Careful! Don't go in the grease. I was gonna do a thing. How dare you! Herore. Need to do a lot of damage here. How much can Gale hit? Uh, one damage. Wow. Improvised melee weapon. Can I, can I? I can throw. I can throw my boots at him. That's not going to do much. Uh, let's keep it up with the Eldritch Blast. 42% because he's threatened. Uh, can I push him first? Eh. Uh, weak wizard. Weak wizard. Uh. <laughs> Target's too close. You're frightened. I'm so afraid. Oh, and I have nothing to use. It's so weird not being able to use my stuff. We're going to have to get creative here. Uh, I'm immobile because I'm frightened. So I can't even get my equipment back. Help him. Yeah. Can you, can you cast your little friend? Where is your friend? Oh, he's dead. That's nice. Okay, well, 42% we'll have to take. I hate those odds. Wonderful. 
Halcyon! I have missed him. You know, I might end up romancing Halcyn. If Astarian inevitably rejects me, Halcyn will be there. He'll look after me. I'll feel safe in his strong arms. Hey, what are you two doing? Nothing, as usual. Uh, can we use acid on the door? Is that gonna work? Not that I can reach this at all. Bite the door, Starry, bite the door. Show that door what for. Oh, there's a, oh, the, the hole. Yes, here. Can we, can we, can I use the hole? No, hole too big. Okay, can I punch the hole? Maybe a tiny creature could get in there. Oh, there's an actual body up there. We could try that with the... Uh... Maybe they've got some stuff that I can use. I can't see if they do. Smoke powder bomb. Another smoke powder bomb! That I guess I can attempt to use, but it didn't work last time. Who else can be small? You can't be small. Can you make the hole bigger? It's sturdy. If you could do a big damage spell, it might work. I go from here? You have fun in the escape room. Well, we're doing the real fighting. Watch out there, Helsin. I'm not looking too good. I might have to heal, but also I do need to take them down. I got anything with pushback? I can wild shape. I can wild shape. Let's be a bear. Since Helsin's not being a bear anymore. Take that, you fool. I'll get you next turn. Yeah. Fear me. Oh no, Halson, don't die. Oh good. He bear formed again. Good. Halson's one of the few characters that I wholeheartedly love. He's such a cool dude. I want to get to know him better because there, there wasn't that much of Halson in act one. So I'm curious to see how he interacts with the party in act two and three. I need more druid in my life. Well done, Gail. Well done, Gail. Well done, Gail. I'm so proud of you. Get in line. Halston's the beefiest beefcake on the entire Soul Coast, and he's already very popular with all the other elven girls. All the other elven girls will have to make room in the line. I may be British, but I'm not going to be queuing for Halston. I'm going to be just roaring to the front of the crowd. They, they they won't be able to stop me. I feel like a house in romance would fit this playthrough because I am also a druid. And I'm not going to lie. Part of me wants to know what happens in the romance scene if Halson's a bear and I am also a bear. I just, I need to know what happens. It's just curiosity, okay? Curiosity killed the bear. That's a very sturdy hole. Speaking of. Can't afford to let up. Discovery Channel. <laughs> you and me, babe, ain't nothing but mammals. So it's us like a druid on the channel. I, I was, this, this is not going to work, but I, I, I don't think there's much I can do about this. So I'm just going to keep doing it. Oh, there's a barrel. Water. Okay. That's nice of them to do no some hydration. They really, really appreciate me. Oh, one health. Come on. Get him, Halston. I love how he's a brown bear and I'm a snow bear. We were made for each other. Maybe I should just give up trying to romance Astarian. He doesn't even want me. I bet he'll like my dark edge more when I do a Dark Edge playthrough. Yeah, go Gail, you have three health. Woo, wonderful. Mr. Step, get away. Can you go on top of anything? You could just put yourself in the cell again. <laughs> put yourself back in prison, Gail. 
At least it's safe there, okay? You stay out of trouble. They've got a ranged weapon. Come into the corner. Aha! This was all part of the plan. They opened the door for me. See, that was what I was trying to do. Yeah. Trick them into opening the door. Lure them into my lair. Eat them, Starry. Uh, he can only punch. Oh, he can eat them. Eat them, and it will also heal Excellent. you. Yeah. And it made my little vampire happy. Ha-ha, we're free! Fear us! Hey! Woo! But we're being raided! Maybe we're not free. They're coming for us. We only just got out of prison. And now Tiana's raiding us. Hello, friends. Hi, Inea. Inea's got that sword raised high, but don't worry, you don't need it here. We're all on the same side, right? Welcome, welcome. Was Tian playing some Baldur's Gate 3 today as well? I love this game so much. I, I just, I could play this forever. There's so many different combinations for things that I can do. All of the stupid stuff that I feel like I try on a whim and really shouldn't work usually ends up working. First time getting out of prison. Uh, I'm a veteran, me. I'm always getting myself in prison, but I'm mostly a veteran of the F8 key. So if I do get imprisoned, I usually run away. What's that jingling noise? Oh, probably chains. My first thought was a cat. Like a cat's collar. Oh, and a kind void creature. This is Moogle. If you haven't met Moogle before, she's my little void companion. My little familiar. It's her season at the moment. It's, it's her Halloween season. She's greatly enjoying it. Although she's in a very, very sleepy mood today. She does like looking at Baldur's Gate, though. It's one of her favorite games to watch. Thank you so much for the raid, Tian. If you haven't checked out Tian's stream, you know elves exist and elves stream on Twitch, obviously. But uh, red pandas do as well. The most adorable red pandas play a variety of games and lots of RPGs as well. So I fully recommend checking out Tian if you haven't already. Ready. Okay, are we actually going to help now? I think we can. On my way. Let's get a dash going. Oh shit. Um I miss Carlac all of a sudden. Can't even catch my breath. Although I can tank, I can be a tank. I've got this. Yeah. Okay. Coming to your rescue, Helsin. Ah, hey, you're not dead. Why aren't you dead? I thought it killed you. You had one HP. Well, that's just rude. That's really rude. Okay. Well, I'll heal myself. We're just rescuing Halsin. If raiders are wondering what we're up to, so we've just found Halsin for the first time. Let's get out of here. Indeed. He agrees. You did your part of the plan very well, I must say, Gail. I'm impressed. You pretended like you were getting wrecked. It was very convincing. Oh no. All these wogs, where do they keep coming from? I think they're being summoned because these are technically hunters. Okay, Starry, I'm gonna need you to get in there. Get dashing. A better position. Oh my god. Take everything? Yeah, no, no shit, he's encumbered. Uh I'm so cucumbered. Uh, which weapons were mine again? Oh, thank God. They automatically put the stuff you have back on, so I don't have to remember who had which weapons. I do have a lot of scrolls, though. Gail can have all of them. There you go, Gail. Go have those. You're a wizard. You know what to do with them. Uh, I've got loads that I was going to sell. <laughs> um, yeah. What's the heaviest stuff that Starry has on him right now? Just some chests, okay. Bowls. Okay. I mean, that can go to camp. Camp supplies can unsurprisingly go to camp. Uh, yeah, yes, there's, 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 there's quite a bit in here. Look, I'm just going to spread it out between my party members. A little bit for Shadow Heart. A little bit for me, you know? He can't do that until next turn. But... Fighting. There we go. Go and have a look at what's in here. The evidence case. Oh. 
There is no evidence. There we go. That should do. Just a little bit. Okay. Sometimes the only way out is through. Let me kill this one. Job done. Okay, let's go for the hunters. If I learned anything through my years of World of Warcraft, it's that you always go for the hunter, not the pet first. Because the hunter will Watch just keep feet. healing the pet. So go for the hunter in PvP. I could heal myself. I don't really want to expend another slot, but... Grit. We'll have another rest after this. This game on normal difficulty seems piss easy by comparison, but I guess it does allow for a lot of funny situations like this. Yeah, I've not really had much trouble in combat so far, to be honest. I did consider playing on the hardest mode, but I thought, oh, it's going to be really difficult because the devs did a showcase and even the devs were struggling. But this is Act 1, so things will get more challenging later on as well. Certainly. <laughs> Let's, we could fog them up. So the rangers can't see. And then they can't shoot at us. And then, yeah. Ow. Well, he can, ow, and he can apparently, okay. They just moved out of the fog immediately. Honestly, I just walked up, loved the first bunch of guards that let me in, then wandered around until I found Halsin, let him out, and then slaughtered absolutely everything that I could find. I could have technically walked in because I was on good terms with the goblins, so I, I didn't need to do this. But I like the pain. Yeah. Is it weapons up, bro? You had a nice crossbow, where is it? I don't feel like I've got all of my stuff back. I don't know, it's a bit suspicious. Where's my other stuff? I had a really nice crossbow. This way. Not enough movement, you can't fireball? Okay. Can't give up. The idea that you could have two Two characters comically locked inside a room for half the battle is wild to me. They were just chilling, they're just enjoying, they're waiting for the fight to be over. Just relaxing. She's still not got her weapons on either. She got her armor. Well, they let them have their armor at least, but I, I think we have to reassign weapons. Try the flail. Yeah. I want to try her with the flail. Looks cool. Don't know whether it's going to do much. I swear this isn't all my stuff. This is not all my stuff. This... Or does Shadowheart just have no rings on? Let's go smack someone. Oh, is she cucumbered? Yes. Still breathing, despite everything. You okay, Bearman? He's all right. I should probably taunt Death that if I can. Yet. Ooh, spicy! Spicy nicey. got those potions back. We have... Ah! Ah! What? Were they doing the wrong potion? Was it a, a poisoned healing potion? What? Oh dear. That, that was not what I wanted to do. Potion of healing. I think I probably drank the wrong one. Um, you're welcome, Gail. Enjoy. Enjoy. Top tip plays. Pro gamer in action. Oh, 
Oi, stop that. Yeah, where's, where's Starry Shiny Crossbow? Unless it's a mechanic that your enemies take any good gear that they want and they use it against you, because that would be kind of cool. If one of them was using Starry's bow right now, like, oh, I got some sweet loot from that guy. You know, the one with the pointed teeth in the jail cell. Oh, I don't think that's the case. Where is all my shit? Oh, oh, maybe it was here all along. I don't know. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. It's a bow. I thought it was a crossbow. There we go. There we go. my staff called mother which mother or something along these lines staff of crones there we go oh i gotta do that on my turn okay starry shoot them in the face can he get this one here no we'll just finish this one off then it can't hurt halson oh damn it Sorry, what's wrong with you? Do you need an eye test? Why can't you shoot down here? Not enough resources, actions. Really? He thinks he needs to go all the way around. Don't okay, okay, fine. I guess, I guess we'll start moving you. Act fast. How much health? Twelve. No. <laughs> Push him. At least I pushed him. Still on my feet. Finish that one. With haste. And then get ready to do some damage to this one. It costs an action to equip a weapon in combat, but he had it equipped. He's got it equipped. Oh, I guess, yeah, it's another action to shoot, isn't it? So, yeah, I see what you mean. But I was like, I've got it on already. I swear I got it on last turn. Uh, gil, 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 gil. You probably need some healing. That was actual healing. You're welcome. Mm, Herure. 56% disadvantage. Has he still got a status effect? Hmm. Could do it anyway. My turn. Whoa, five damage. Slow down there, Gale. Have you used Gale to learn all the spell scrolls? Are you hoarding them like a knowledge dragon? I am hoarding them like a knowledge dragon. Um, I have a lot. I have a lot. I probably should just learn all of them on him. It's probably the way to go. Spend six... Sweet and music speed. For the rest of your turn, roll range damage twice and use the highest result. Maybe you could. This one's probably gonna die anyway. Let's just do a normal one. There we go. Stealth. Time for a new approach. Shadow fart. Get in there. I want to see you dashing. Heading there. Oh, she's cucumbered. Uh, uh, blinded. Push him. Oh. Not enough movement. Oh no. Shield of faith. There we go. Time to push my luck again. I'm not looking too good. Let's heal. Can I do a dash dash? There we go. I'm coming in the fog cloud with a shadow heart. Bears can jump further than I expected. I've been playing for 70 hours and I just learned that wizards can learn those scrolls and not use them. 
as a one-time thing. Yeah, I think there's a tool tip. I think there's a tool tip that pops up the first time you get scroll. Um, but I guess maybe you just be like, oh, okay, and 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 press the okay button. But yeah, I guess if you haven't played D and D, it's a little bit less obvious. Wasn't there another one in here? Let me get over this side. No, Helsin! Okay, Starry, can you reach them from here? Nice. Mutilate them. Oh, yes, mutilation. Lovely. We love to see it. Let's find some prey. Another thing that people who've been watching my streams don't always realize is that you get a bonus action stealth at the end of your turn on Astarian because he's a rogue. So you can stealth for free at the end of the turn, basically. So always make sure you're stealthing again or attempting to stealth. It doesn't always work, but depends where you're standing. Let me strike through. <laughs> Disadvantage. Shove him. I shoved him. I won't give in. It was greatly ineffective. Fall by my hand. Critical miss. Wonderful. I think I just screwed myself with this entire cloud. Housing can't get in because there's no room, so he's just going to stand there looking threatening from behind the pillar. Yeah, I'd be threatened. I'd be very threatened. some blood yes oh see i don't understand the people who are like oh astarian's rubbish i never take him in my party because he does horrible damage he's so good you just have to use him right he's just, he's just, just yeah pretty boy just needs some some love and attention okay we did it can we talk to halston no now one stopped me yet where is halston oh he's down here f5 i really hope he likes me as a fellow druid. I have something to ask. Yo, shit, stop the grove. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, Both. I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Glad I could be of help. Your Master Halson, first druid of the Emerald Grove. Praise Sylvanus for saving you. I've heard that you're an unmatched healer. I need your help. I've been to the Emerald Grove. It's in grave danger. That sorrows me to say. It's true, I better tell him. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Mm, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? I've got worms. Ah! <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The mind flares spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I don't know. I escaped from an illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted? I think this artifact has something to do with it. Should I really be waving that thing around? We trust Halsin though. Halsin's nice. He's good as far as I know. So if we show him, he'll help us. Yes. Does the Necromancer or Spore Druid subclass get unique dialogue options? I believe so. Not in every conversation, but where it matters. I think this has something to do with it, to be honest. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. 
You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but... I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I've just been staring at his arms this entire time. They're like tree trunks. Um, sorry, t tell me what you learned about the tadpole's origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. So everyone tells me. Hmm. Altered parasites. Cure at Moonrise Towers? Maybe. Sounds like guesswork at best. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could. No! But there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. Oh. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Look around you. There's no order anymore, only chaos. All right, I'll help you. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. <laughs> they are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Obviously, don't tell me anything, but I know that Minthara is some kind of companion. Because it's been all over the internet. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Twitter. I've seen pictures of Minthara, and everyone's like, oh my god, Minthara B! But how the heck is she a companion if she's siding with the goblins? What? Where does that come from? Eh? Hmm. I'm guessing she's like Dark Urge's best friend. Like if you walk in there as the Dark Urge and are like, hello, oh, I also enjoy murder. Then you get on like a house on fire, literally. Mm. I, I like a slightly evil character, at least like a morally flexible character. Hmm. Think about what would happen if you sided with the goblins. Minthara Bay um, would probably happen. If we sided with the goblins, they take over the grove, I'm pretty sure. They take over the grove. Don't know what advantage that gives us. And as a druid in this playthrough, I do feel like I have to support the druids. I feel like that is what my character would choose to do. Generally speaking, you have to be a not so nice person, but there is technically a way to recruit her without doing the very bad, not so nice thing. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Minthara definitely has, I can fix her energy. You know, I'm a sucker for, I can fix her or I can fix him. <laughs> I'm an Astarian romancer. Definitely that I can fix him comes into play. Having a shape shifting bear druid at my side makes make, make things easier. I wish I could say having a shape-shifting, having another shape-shifting bad druid at my side may, may, might make things easier because I can already do it. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. Oy. I can only restrain my bear form so much. We I know. I able to help but attack goblins. If we I join know you, you we can't restrain yourself sometimes, Halson. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
he can't control when the bear comes up. Rawr. Um, uh, <coughs> come with me. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. Okay, so Halson is now my pet. My little pet cave bear. <laughs> With the best of friends. Does that mean Halson will be at my camp now, I guess? You cannot use that right now. Excuse me, Amelia. Why? What's the reason? I guess because we're taking the bear for playtime. Is that blood? No, never mind. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, sorry. To sorry. Enemies to kill. Sorry. Of course. Sorry. Of course. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to piss him off. Boy's really bent on doing some killing. Won't even let me go back to camp for a second. Ooh. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain wrath for two turns. Adrenaline courses through your veins. You have plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons. Okay. That would go nicely with Carlax gloves. Step. Take everything. Leave none under. Oh. This is awkward. Sorry. I want to know if I turn into a bear. If we can talk. Like if I take a short rest. That took the edge off. And then I bear form. Is he gonna be like, ah, oh, another druid I see. Good to have you on my side. Probably not. Hello, bear friend. Those ringleaders still draw breath. We must end them. Agreed. Can we touch noses first though? It'd be really cute. Just a little like, whoop, whoop, look. Do I do a bear kiss? No? Okay. Alright. The bears are on a mission. <laughs> He's falling over. The, the bear falling over animation is so cute. It's just like... <laughs> Tired. Sit down. Careful. He can't control his bear, remember? If he but touched my little nose, that would be it. They'd be roaring for hours. Where does this go? All right, time to skulk about. Just two bears I stealthing. Sometimes. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I really shouldn't walk through that. If Halston goes down as well, we're the worst bears ever. Good luck, Alpha. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Halson. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, that looks good. Starry would like that. Time to loot everything. Don't go on the grease, remember. Oh, here's the prison key. Well, you know... That would have been the sensible way to do things. Instead, I just got myself arrested on purpose. Ooh. Oops. Ooh. Oh. Allows you to cast animal friendship. Nice. Oh, we should go let the spiders out. They're all going to want to fight us as soon as they see Halson. Hmm. Anything of use? Can get rid of grease, yeah, with water. Moving ahead. I'm not going to be staying here for long, though. Okay. You sure we've got everything? Oh, there's a dead body in the wall. Uh, Gail. Directly. Get your beastie out. That way. Everyone will be hostile now. Yeah. I'm assuming, although you can tell Halsin to stay behind. So I'm wondering if I can go on by myself, let the spiders out, and then come back for Halsin. 
I can't get through the mysterious hole. Not enough space in the mysterious hole. Well, it's not very mysterious anymore. It's just inaccessible. It's an inaccessible hole. Oh well. I'm so glad we freed Halson. I was a bit worried because I'd taken so many long rests before that I thought maybe time had progressed. I wasn't quite sure how it worked in early access. From from early access into main release. So I didn't want to be just chilling and picking up plants and stuff. Meanwhile, Halson's just dying over in the goblin camp. But it seems like things only start happening when you actually enter the area, so we're safe. Uh, Druid. Daddy, safe. The most important of saves. Letting the spiders out is fun, but throwing the goblins down to the spiders one or two at a time is also fun. Yes, I did that in the first playthrough. We, we should probably do that. That'd be nice. We, there's two up the top. We'd have to have Karlak because she'd have to be pretty strong to push them in there. Or we could lure them in there somehow, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I did hope that once they saw me inside the cage, they'd be like, Oi, you're not supposed to be in there. And then they'd open the door and then the spiders would come for them. But alas, it was not to be. But Humes, as it always does when we're playing Baldur's Gate, the light night grows late and my brain grows mushy. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along for all of our adventures today. We managed to get quite a few things done today and almost, almost got some romance with Astarian. Almost. I, I feel like he was thinking about it. The cogs were turning. He was thinking, hmm, maybe this person isn't so bad after all, but he's still not letting his guard down. He is going to be a tough nut to crack. <laughs>